Yeah, that's right. Uh, we're doing we're doing two in a row, uh, because Wednesday we we did um, Pathfinder, so we're 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 doing this tonight. Because I am trying to make the the Final Fantasy ones a um, a, a consistent one. Uh, you know, like at the very least, I want to make it to where at least one weekly FF14 stream. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not gonna probably. Streaming other stuff here without without Shota is gonna be more inconsistent. You know that that'd be kind of more of a if I feel like a thing. But yeah, FF14. I'm trying to make it like into a regular scheduled thing. You know, along with the actual streams. You know, uh, Junebug for dollar broke this, so this is my only dono. And thank you for DMing me back on Discord. I'd love to have more conversation with you, but I don't want to be a bother. May God bless your life. E. Oh yeah, yeah. Lowest stream is better than Jack Show. Women are for a while, but bros are forever. Oh yeah, yeah. We we are we are uh, we're we're doing two in a row, two in a row. Have you played Observer by Blooper? Seems like they're only good game to me. I heard that one's fun. But yeah, we we are uh, we we are we are doing two. And as you can see from the message that's on screen, new veil new new videos available for the early bros. So if you if you pay ten dollars on the subscribe star or the or or the Patreon. You can watch it early. It's about the Japan saga and the shenanigans we got up to on there. So is Shota going to be on stream tomorrow? On Saturday, yeah. Maybe you're a Europe, maybe you're a Europe person to where, you know, tomorrow is your Saturday. But, I mean, tomorrow's Friday for us. Uh, where is Statue 33 born again for all? Did you see the article of a Nazi a POW falling in love with a black nurse? That was pretty funny. This stream blows. I'm gonna go watch a real streamer like XQC. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're just mad because I will not. I I will not play Virgil. I will not play Virgil. You changed the name. What are you talking about? It's always been this name. It's always been this name. Fucking crazies. 
Uh, if you played any of the Total Warhammer games, you can uh, beat a fantasy steam tank to death with hordes of ratmen using sharpened sticks. I have, in fact. And Total Warhammer 3 nerfed my vampires, and I'm still pissed. Uh, went for a walk around town, came back with a Cowboy Bebop and Dragon Ball Super poster and Bloodborne on the only console it's on. That's pretty interesting. That was Friday today. It's not, it's, it's, uh, Thursday for us. Joke's on you, I can spam annoying emojis. <laughs> Alright. We, we're actually gonna go straight into it. Eh. Uh, turns out Lil Tay is alive. It is very possible that she is, in fact, alive. Alright. So we we are we are just gonna jump straight into it. We're not even, we're not even gonna we're we're not even gonna have any foreplay. Let's do this shit. All right. And I don't have any energy drinks to keep me alive this stream. I have Gatorade and I have Sour Patch Kids strawberries. So let's do this. The adventures of Bunny Girl Monk continues. Exactly. I gotta wait for the queue, so give me a little bit. Uh, Warrior Statue 33 born again for uh, a dollar. My gun arrived from repair. They replaced it. Uh, even gave me two mags and a cleaning kit. Oh, that's cool. No foreplay? No foreplay. We're jumping straight in. Jumping straight in. We're doing this. Because we still got a long way to go for level 80. Long way to go. Should I wait to play FF14 or wait for it to come to Game Pass? Uh, if you want to try it out, I'd say wait for Game Pass. If you already are a fan of it or, or have people to play it with, pick it up and play it. Ooh. Must be brutal to stream after a work day and you have work tomorrow. And it's not that big of a deal. It's like... uh. For one, I got that new video done, so that's a weight off my fucking back. Yeah. And you know, I'm kind of getting used to falling asleep kind of late and then waking up for after like four or five hours, getting shit done, then passing out for a nap. It's kind of becoming a weird, weird cycle. Alright. So. If I remember right, we need to get a uh, fucking... We need to get Chocobo Insurance, which involves us getting, uh, seals. Uh... I'm saying the milk being blue makes no sense. Uh... Let's start watching Twist Mall Show. First episode wasn't that bad. Episode 2, though? Yikes. Yeah, yeah, the... The casino is kind of the roughest one, because that's where it really dips into Marvel humor with Sweet Tooth. It's not too bad, but... Everything else afterward gets a lot better. Check out insurance. You need it in order to get the, the fucking mounts. But I think there is a way you can, like, grind up fucking seals. I think people can either give them to you or you can, yeah, complete hunts and stuff. There, there is a way to do it. Yeah, see? Yeah, if, if we get, like, if we just kill these dudes, we'll get, like, an ass load right there. This motherfucker changed it to lol. No? No, I don't know what you're talking about. So, Eastern Thailand, Sandgate. Let us... So, around here. That's where the guys we kill. There's chicken insurance. Yeah, you need chicken insurance. Uh, you changed it to lol? I don't know what you're talking about. It's always, it's always been the name. It has always been the name. Do a quick PvP match, easy seals, but we're just gonna do a hunt real quick. We lost the eye. What are you talking about? It has always been this way. How are, are you all just crazy? Where's Brucey when you need him? Brucey doesn't live here anymore. I don't know what you're all freaking out about. The name has always been the name. I don't see, I, like, how are you guys not seeing the eye? The eye is right there. Uh, Mark99 for $2. Hey, bro. Hi, bro. Remember, have a great night and drink some water. Yeah. I have Gatorade. Close enough. He's an alternate. 
Uh, who would survive in a Monster Energy Drink Off Challenge? Turkey Tom, Meg Rocks, or Trevor Phillips? I have no idea. Uh, next main story quest gives you 300 seals, dude. Eh, not really. I say we can just do this hunt real quick, and we'll get like 200, and that's what you need to, to get Chocobo shirts anyway. But Japan saw it to you and showed up wear face masks? No, we didn't. We never had to. The only people that really wore them were employees at stores. Say the name then, Lolly. Say it. How are you not seeing the eye? The eye is right there. He's got shell NordVPN. Slime so skeleton too. I just gave myself a whole Hogan haircut. I'm 19. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. They're gonna beat the shit out of you at school. What do you mean, Chad? It's always been almighty lol. What are you talking about lol? There's no lol here. How are you not seeing the eye? The eye is right there. Upper GX sponsor win. Okay. So they should be around here. Because it's, uh... Yeah, I'm all GIA hunter. So. Probably right there. What did you do? This is next level dyslexia. The eye is there. The eye is there. What are you talking about? He's always been Bundy Chew, exactly. Gonna make a video apologizing and attack his audience. Okay. So where Uh, bump for a dollar. Oh my god! Eh, one sec. I, I gotta fuck with... God damn it. Eh. Here we go. You gotta run against the wall for a little bit. Oh my god, she's not wearing a bra. My estimated size of 34 inches off. She's the 35 in a C cup. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Shota gonna be called shot now. I think you're all just crazy. I think you all need more sleep. The eye has always been there. Do you think your Do you think your subs are smart enough to read? <laughs> Would beast tribes your favorite really dig the Sahigans? Uh, I haven't really paid too much attention to the beast tribes. They mainly just been things to kill to get shit done. But you know what? Now that you really mention it, I I don't, I don't really notice a lot of them. Okay. So. Uh, it might not be around here. Because I can't seem to find them. Let's go to... Eh. We gotta go to Halatali. Look on a phone or something. It's all my lol. No. No. No, you're just crazy. Get more sleep. You seem tired. You seem really tired. Alright. Well, let's go up here. It might be there. And YouTube is sputtering out again. I feel like everyone's running into YouTube. I was watching uh I was watching a bunch of like VTuber streams today and each one of them was complaining about some form of like really fucking bad uh audio problem. Nigga changed his name after being called out. The eye has always been there. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like it's still Lolly, it's right there. Are you blind? Like, ban. Man. Gotta increase your insight to see the eye. I think you all just need some sleep. You know, it's like... I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get... I don't, I don't get what you're talking about. The eye's always been there. Playable snake people win. No, the aura don't count. Gross. Gross snake, man. Lolly and Bruce, he's sitting in a fucking tree. Fucking. There you go. Alright. Lol fumbled the eye. Lolly did this just to gaslight his audience live. What are you talking about? The eye is there. The eye is there. You're having problems. You can't see the eye. 
I was low the whole time. What are you getting the what are you getting the eye? Okay. So we can try to find Halatali just to be sure, but I think we got everything anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got all we need. Uh, and I don't remember where Halatali is, so. Fuck it, we shall get our chuckabo insurance. It's a Mandela effect! It's always been there. The eye has always been there. Halatali meaning the dungeon. Okay, okay. So doing dungeon run. Got it. Most debacle uh, makes me think I need more uh, all my lol. You need to put the eye. You need to put the eye. You know, I'm just seeing lol. You need to put an eye there. Champ. Buckaroo. Any uh, visual novel or light novel recommendation? I haven't really, like, checked any out recently. So, I don't know. I don't know what's out. Chat, chat, the eyes under your skin needs to rip off your skin to get it. There you go. You know, take a kitchen knife. Cut just underneath your, your uh, you know, the, the flesh of your wrist and just peel upwards. Like Arnold and Terminator 2. Fancy getting myself a copy of Killer7, which is the best uh, console to get it. Uh, PS2, Xbox, or GameCube. I don't know of any differences between them. Uh, I never heard of anything like that, but... Eh. But maybe... Uh, maybe GameCube? Because I think that's what it released on first. Alright. So we gotta go and buy our seals. Remove the eye, see the truth. And once again, it wants to sputter out. Damn YouTube. Alright. Uh, I think it's on the floor above that we can... Alright. I showed a hanging out with the Oshis. He's been eating Magic Spoon. Like, he, he unironically is starting to eat Magic Spoon. He bought a bunch of the cereal, and now he's like, oh my god, this shit's amazing. He caught the Wendigoon virus. There's another bunny lady right there. I think she's a Dark Knight. Space lasers are making your subs not able to read anymore. Blame the government, not them. Exactly. They killed Dale Gribble, and now they're going to kill, you know, people's ability to read. Did that last boss in Baldur's Gate steal Lolly's eye? It wasn't Baldur's Gate, it was fucking uh, Pathfinder, you fuck. Casual, stinky, no fan, fucker. Uh, where's Statue of Timothy boarding in for dollars? Child porn like the bailet? You'll find it if you're fated to. Don't go looking for child porn. That's all I can say. Alright. All right, we got to talk to, uh, uh, there we go. Chuckable insurance. I told you we get one if we, uh, if we buy it. Now we should, yeah, now we have the ability to. Awesome. Wait, that cereal, that cereal isn't shit. That's what Shota's saying. Like he's unironically loving it. They forgot to admit the. They forgot to remove. They about to move the L. Uh, L. He got to call the um, I tried my best to read that, but I, I'm, I'm not very good. Oh God! Someone's shilling their fucking free company. Uh. I think this is just to like, you know, change up your character if you want to. Shows you gonna start killing wood spirits like Wendigoon because he gets convinced by made by magic elves. It's possible. Uh, potion ether, tin piece, and eh, whatever. At the very least, this will unlock something. Yeah, the blue the the blue plus quest usually unlocks something like a new feature or something like that. Uh, 
to be honest, Shoto's crazy. He hangs out with a dude named Lolly. Alright. How the hell did leftists end up uh, worshipping Che Guevara, some kind of idol? Uh, the guy hated the gays and Mexicans and completely screwed over Cuba, and now he's held up as some kind of icon? Well, you know, they just conveniently ignore all details like that. Or it's like, hey, yeah, this dude's, uh, like, kind of fucking crazy. So we got to look for doubt. I want a refund. I didn't scrap the lol. Where's the real lolly? FBI is knocking on your door right now. Even though it's me. I'm me. Read too many stories about the dark web on YouTube. One look like a heroin addict. Oh, uh, you got this wrong. Shota hangs out with a dude named lol. The eye is there. How are you blind? The eye is there. I don't know how many times I have to tell you this. There is an eye. The eye is there. Uh, Lolly and Shota live together. No, we don't. That camper is way too small to hold more than one person. It barely holds one person. Alright. There we go. Uh, Neil Spink for five dollars. Hey, hope you're having a good one. Try not to cave into my late night craving and mess up my liver even more. Yeah, yeah. It's best to avoid things like that. Yeah, you because know, also throw your metabolism into whack and you have trouble losing weight and shit. It, it's it's kind of like embarrassing. All right. Uh, they were just roommates. Not even that. Like Irishman and Shadow were roommates. We never lived together. There is the eye is there, but the second eye is gone. Favorite duo stream of LOL and Shota. Yeah, there you go. Even though the, the eye is there, you you keep fucking that up. You need to fix that. You know you're mispronouncing it. You're gonna sound goofy. You're gonna sound ridiculous. Everyone's gonna look at you funny. Uh, the three is real. The four is real. FBI is no more. It's now FB. Have you heard the Appalachian Mountain Urban Legend of the Spaghetti Gnome? You can't make this shit up. Appalachia has a lot of weird stories to it. Very crazy region of the world. Alright. Let's go turn on a quest, because we won't even be able to ride a mountain around here anyway. There's gonna be social consequences. Uh... He's probably on his Twitch. I just come friends with Shoto. We met in school. Yeah. All right. Uh, ever plan to talk about Sopranos? Definitely plan to, because that show is really fucking good. And it was kind of like the the one of the last Swan songs in regards to like mafia media. Because that was around the time that, you know, a bunch of dudes who got busted as being part of the Mafia would uh, sell out everybody and, like, sell their stories to Hollywood. In fact, that's a fucking plot point in the show. So, yeah, that, it, it'd be one of those where I'd love to talk about that. That's just really interesting. Uh, to me, the Goofy movie was just a movie. Damn. It says a lot. Okay, I didn't know if we tuned to this or not. Alright, so I'll talk to this motherfucker. Yeah, I think this, like, I think this takes you over, like, PvP or something like that. Uh... We don't really need any potions or anything like that. Oh, okay, it's the challenge log. Okay, that was it. Which, I mean, challenge log's not, you know, it's not useless. 
It's just, you know, kind of... By the time you complete any of these, the rewards are vastly outweighed by just doing shit normally. Which is kind of a problem with a lot of a Realm Reborn side content. It's... You want to unlock some stuff, like not having amounts really fucking annoying, but at the same time... By the time you have the ability to start crafting armor, you don't really need to. It's probably heresy to people who, like, craft shit every single day, all day, every day, but... I mean, you know... The main sense New York should have been a show as terrible as a movie. It was definitely way too scrunched in. There were a lot of big ideas they wanted to talk about. It felt like a really long premiere. Alright. Uh, ever heard of Bossman Jack? He's a non-stop gambling addict. Is that that dude who, like, bets millions per stream and has, like, a straight-up fucking, like, sponsorship with a casino or something? XP rewards are the challenge log scale with the class level. Oh, okay. I never really paid attention to it too much, so that's kind of useful. But even then, come Heaven's Ward, you get the uh, the other tome, which is like in the one area. It's like the notebook you have to fill out, and a lot of it involves running dungeons. That, to me, has way more valuable stuff in it than, than the challenge log. Maybe I just neglect it too much, you know? Only endgame crafting kind of matters. Yeah, because at, at that point, it's like, you know, you're getting the best of the best. Let me ride my fucking chicken. I'm Omnicrafter. Fuck you. Now I will not use the I in your name on purpose. Well, what the hell happened with Hachima? I haven't seen her stream in a while now. Classic Hachima hiatus. He, has, he streams on kick and has meltdowns every stream. Oh, God. Oh, this is a completely different dude. He's like a fucking... Oh, he's like a drug addict or something? Ooh. Uh, were dwarves ever in Final Fantasy? Technically? I mean, that's where you get the little fucking Lollafell people. They're basically just dwarves. Just, you know, midgets. Uh, Junebug for a dollar. Why do Lollicon get mad at me for saying if you don't list for a lolly, you're not a Lollicon? Meaning if you like Moe, cute girls, but not listing for it. I don't even call them pedo and they get pissed at me. The whole debate's really fucking stupid. That stayed, it's sex offender arguing with sex offender. Insisting everyone else is, in fact, the sex offender. How's it feel to know you're less than 1k away, uh, subbed away from overtaking Spoony? It's strange. There's a lot of people where I find out I have more subs than them, and I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Alright, so what are we naming the Chocobo? Uh... Chicken pun's kinda easy. Here. Oh, well, let me add a space, okay. Uh, what is the? Give me a sec. There you go, Pollo Amarillo, the yellow chicken. Family Guy Chicken, the Colonel Jacket. As stated, he is the... Yeah. yeah, here. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, I have other... <laughs> I have other mounts. But I shall, I shall show them to you when we're uh, done with this real quick. Because I think we have to finish this first. Well, both sides are the vendors. Do you know Spanish? I know bits and pieces from what I learned in high school. Alright. Alright. So now... That's, like, straight up. Okay. So now... Alright, yeah. I just said we can't use it in this location. Pollo Loco. It wouldn't let me add a space, and I thought Pollo uh, I thought Pollo Loco was a little too simple. So it's Pollo Armorial. The yellow chicken. 
And now we have a mount. Look at him. He's so happy. Hola, lol, como estas? Uh, you live in a camper? I don't live in a camper. Shota does. Yeah, look. Alright. So, that is the Chocobo. Uh, I will show you the other mounts. Because you also have Fenrir from uh, FF7, which is uh, Cloud's motorcycle. Why are games always online? Well, this is literally an MMO, so it, it needs to be online. And it changes the music to Final Fantasy VII music. It's also one of the fastest mounts in the game. Yeah. Two streams in a row? Well, we didn't stream Final Fantasy this week yet. We got to now. Yeah. Do you listen to AI covers and be kind of funny? Some of the Plankton ones, like from Spongebob, are unironically weirdly good. Uh, there was one a guy did where it was... Uh, I, I think I actually played it for a stream where it was breaking the habit, but it was Plankton, and it was like weirdly well done. Uh, another one was uh, Show Me How to Live by Audio Slave. It's like, huh. And it flies. Well, all the, all the mounts fly. All the mounts fly because eventually you unlock that uh, after a certain point. So that is, that is the, uh, here is the lunar whale, and you notice the, the number here, eight, that's how many people can ride it. We now have a big ass whale. And I think, I think this is the one based off Final Fantasy X, yeah. Plankton and Grunge is an odd combo. It is, but it works. That shit was stuck in my head for a week. I'm breaking the habit. Yeah. We have our uh, we have our, our our whale. We have our whale. Let me ride it. No, not this whale. I will show you the one that I bought and I stuck with, even though it only allows two. But our precious little boy. Our our precious child, the indigo whale. Look at him. Final Fantasy 4, not 10. I thought it was 10. Eh, don't matter. Point is, it's it's a whale based off the franchise. But look at him. And listen to his music. It's so majestic. Do, do, do. But look at him. He's so happy. He's so happy. It's slow. But you get to fly around on him. You even have a little table. You mentioned Trepang before. Is that game as good as Fear? If you want the AI from Fear, no. If you want the power fantasy, yeah, it's awesome. The rest of the stream just watching Indigo Whale. It is the goodest whale. My only two. Boo. Doesn't matter. I'm the only one who ever rides it. As a fat boy, he looks happy. He is very happy. And I ride into town with him. Cute whale. He is a very good whale. It's like, you know, happy little bunny girl riding on the whale. Why the name change? What are you talking about name change? Everyone keeps saying there's an eye missing. There's no eye missing. It's right there. Shouldn't be suffocating from not being in water. He's a magic whale. Also, whales don't need to be in water. So we gotta go to Gradania and Udal. So let us. Okay. Nah, that's a flex. <laughs> when Final Fantasy XIV Guild. You need, a, you need to have specific conditions for it. Oh. Like you need a certain number of people at you at one time in a party to start one. It's weird. Are you gaslighting the audience? I don't know what you're talking about. The eye is right there. You know? It's like, you guys are crazy. You guys, I, I mean it. You're crazy. You're seeing things. You're not getting enough sleep. 
you know, we've been worried about you. Daddy, I need ten dollars, Pearl. It always fucks me up to know that that was the boss from MGS3, because as a kid, it never clicked. It it, it never clicked. I never, I, it never hit me that that was the boss. You know, I was like, oh yeah, you know, she kind of sounds similar, but I didn't think about it because I was a dumb kid. And then you know, I'm a teenager and I find out, oh yeah, the boss from MGS3 was fucking Pearl from SpongeBob. And it hit me, and I'm like, what? <laughs> the fuck are you talking about, Pearl from Spongebob? And, and then you look it up, and it's like, yep, it's true. I know who the fuck Almighty Lol is, but I've heard someone named Almighty Lol and made a cool Berserk video. I don't know what you're talking about. The eye is there. Check again. Check again. You're all, you're all crazy. Oh, he's gaslighting the whale. The whale is not being gaslit. The whale's a good boy. All right, now we go to Udala. Oh yeah, feisty little chocobo. I think that's uh, to learn how to like fight with the whale. Well, not the whale, the chocobo. Actually, Graham is Sandy. Yeah, uh, yeah, she's also uh, another one that didn't click with me. How the fuck is the Indian tra the trailer Indian affording ten dollars cereal? I don't know, but he says he really likes it. I miss the eye. <laughs> we need to beat Lol's ass. I'm telling you, it's there. There is I. There is an I there. You're all you're all losing your fucking minds. You're losing your minds. You know what? I can just teleport there. Now we can walk. Fuck it. Yeah, there we go. Small I. Thoughts in the game, vampire. Had cool ideas, but also kind of like... It, it kind of broke its own legs with the fact that you could just grind up blood and also get powers. So you didn't really have to kill anybody. And you were like so heavily punished if you killed anybody, even if you didn't like them. It was like, man, they're kind of a bad person and probably be better to kill them. It Like, there was no reason to, to interact with the main gimmick of the game. Then why is the whale wanting to end it? The whale doesn't want to end it. He's a happy whale. Very happy whale. Do, 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 do. Name change means I can recommend stuff to people without sounding like a freak. I'm just a different kind. I'm telling you, the eye is there. Check again. Check again. We ever review girls on Panzer? I definitely plan to. That one's fun. What video editor do you use, and where do you get your clips from and download? Finally made my vid, and God took forever. Just find clips that are funny. Uh, I use DaVinci Resolve because that's free and it has so much stuff you can use. Uh, and the clips I just pull off YouTube, pull off YouTube, or I download the movie or something equivalent. You know. Uh, Samurai Night for two hours. Can I borrow some gas and seem to have extra. <laughs> It's not my fault. You all missed a very, very simple, simple little letter. Simple little letter. Here. I, I, I will ping everybody in the Discord that the I is there. I don't want to do it, but I will. Because you, you are all insistent. You're all like, hey, you're missing a letter. And I'm like, no, I'm not. You know? Let me, let me check Streamlabs real quick, though. Okay. Uh... Okay. Uh, would you ever stream the horror game where Fair Hunter voices a character? I don't know what game that is. But yeah, I'd like to stream more horror stuff in general. Okay. It's a glitch. <laughs> I'm 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 gonna ping. I'm gonna ping. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. Yeah, see? The eye is there. 
The eye is there. <laughs> the eye is there. Fear and hunger? Fear and hunger would be fucking awesome. Because, yeah, I, I was really enjoying the little bit I played. It's Loy. I only got the joke, Lolly. <laughs> Like I said, I think the best part about this quest is I think it just only it only unlocks the ability to edit our character like once or twice. What the fuck? It's back. It never left. It never left. You all need some more sleep. You're all very tired. Ever heard about the grandpa that fed post too hard in Utah? Yeah, they straight up fucking raided him and like killed him in the raid. And a lot of people are pointing out, it's like, man, kind of kind of reminded me of Ruby Ridge for some reason. And it's like, yeah, he he fucking like went schizo and was like fed posting super hard. But it's like, people point out, hey, remember the numerous times people threatened to kill Trump? It's like, why why did they have to like go out of their way to raid some like seventy five year old man? Uh, I will not fall for your cute and funny magic. I knew Kentucky fucks chickens. You ruined the gaslighting. What are you talking about? It's always been there. It's always been there. Stream System Shock Remake. I do have System Shock Remake, and that would be a lot of fun. There's like a whole list of games I want to I wanna stream for everybody. It's like... Kind of have tempted to see what we can glamour. Uh, on one hand, I do. On the other hand, it's like we'll, we'll get something better anyway, and it'll just be a waste of a glamour. That was your mom's birthday. It was nice. We ate out at uh, Texas Roadhouse, and, and and it was really good. I mean, she enjoyed her card. And we also got her, like, some dark chocolate with orange mixed in, because she really likes that. Whoever asked about Hachima earlier, she's been hospitalized since February and only recently been discharged. She plans to come back soon. Yeah, that's the classic Hachima hiatus. They always seem to have some kind of horrible health issue. West Texas Roadhouse, Steakhouse. And actually, are they launching fireworks? Oh. That's actually really cool. Yeah, I think there is an event going on. Yeah. I haven't pooped in three days, but to destroy my friend's plumbing system. Have you watched Shinsuke Yori? I have not. What's that? Texas Roadhouse is great bread. They have great butter, they have great bread. Uh, I tried their ribeye for the first time, because I'm usually very picky when it comes to to steak and beef and stuff. I'm usually like, I'll eat a burger at a restaurant just fine, but steak, I'm very like, eh, I kind of want to just have a friend prepare that or have family prepare that because it always feels, it always feels like they make it too dry or they fuck it up or, or something like that. No. The ribeye text roadhouse was super fucking good and plenty of marbling to it. Because I, I will never understand the people that don't like marbling and, and like fat on their meat. It's like, the fat's the best part. It has all the flavor. Pork fat's really good. Uh, steak fat's fucking amazing. Chicken fat can be really damn good. I, I I will never understand the people that prefer like leaner cuts. Event quest grivers uh, close by. The reward is Power Ranger suit. Oh, I might actually look into that then. Always order it rare. Medium well. It is the best of every world. Enough pink to where it's good. And it's cooked so you won't shit yourself to death on the toilet. Favorite steak is dry age. What is yours? I say, I like medium well. Weed bro likes his fucking blue, and I'm just like, dude, that scares the hell out of me. You hear about the screaming match that new Russian tank? 
Yeah. Oh god. Don't you fucking touch me. I like medium. Medium is good. Burnt meat is best. I mean, it's really hard to fuck up well done. That is true. I'm sorry, blue? Yeah, blue. Uh, for those that don't know, blue is literally the degree under rare. So you basically, like, warm it up. And that's it. It's not cooked through at all. Animal fat is healthier than most oils. It is. The, the, uh, the human body is actually built to, to process uh, animal fats a lot more than artificial oils. I prefer my steak's very rare. Then, yeah, that would be like. That would basically be blue. Raw? That's what I think. It's like, man, that's just raw. I like mine medium well. Because that's state, it's. You get enough pink for there to be flavor and juice. And it's cooked through enough to where you're not worried, like, okay, am I gonna call in sick tomorrow? Gee, I actually am curious about that. Ugh. My steak should be mooing. I will never understand that mindset. You gotta cook it at least somewhat. Uh, butter, bacon, grease, better than Pam spray. Yeah, uh, it was actually a diet for a while that people would just straight up drink bacon grease, because uh, you know it was a no carb. Uh, there was there was a logic behind it. It was um, no carbs, but it had protein and it had sodium in it and and stuff that you could break down and use. There's one YouTuber who prefers their steaks blue rare. Apparently, blue rare is like a, it, it, it's like a primo thing. You know, it it, it it's not like a, a white trash option. It's it's like, you know, if, if you're ordering like a wagyu steak, you want it to be blue or something like that, where it's meant to be very, it, it it's meant to be like you know classy, but I just don't get that. Where's the Wolfenstein new colossus? Been years, Lolly, years. That is that is something I plan on covering. That's something I plan on covering because I have a. I'm going through a lot of the uh, requests. Like, I, I plan on getting done with the. Uh, like next on the agenda is the City Hunter one. Uh, that's why I've been going through the anime again. It's fucking awesome. After that, I'm gonna do the Twisted Metal show because I mean, I actually had a lot I want to say about that. Uh, and we'll be dipping into Halloween, so we're gonna do some of the require the the requested uh, horror stuff. You know, like dark wood and things like that. Uh, also, homunculus, because uh, I finally sat down and watched the live action movie, so I have something to compare the manga to, and to talk about the live action movie. I, I have a lot of stuff I plan on getting done this year. Cult personality, two dollars best non human Final Fantasy waifu. Gotta be Fran for me. Yeah, you know, what? I'll agree with you. Fran's pretty good. If we're going with non human, I like a lot of the human girls. Wolfstein ended with New Order. That's what I think. Yeah, it's not Wagyu, it's it's Wagyu. <laughs> I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. Darkwood's great. It's really it's really damn good. It's legitimately unsettling. What SMT demon would you fuck for twenty dollars? That's hard. Some of the some of the goddesses are really pretty. At least in regards to like SMT demons. Kina from FF9 can catch his entire dick. Tall, I like human girls. Is there any other decision? <laughs> That's on Modern Disney. I don't watch anything they put out now. Ugh. Would Yishchola count? Yishchola, you know what? Now you mention it. Uh, V's redesign of Artemis was... <laughs> yeah. Athena from SMT5, best tomboy. That is, yeah. I stayed. There's some pretty good ones. Uh, 
Uh... Okay, up there. That's good Disney movies, Coco. Yeah, I think I'll agree there. Can this, re can this recession hit already? Isn't blue just tartar? Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah. That's day it's meant to be like a, a primo thing. When did you add the I in your name? I always thought you were the almighty lol. You're just blind. It's always been there. Always blind. It always been there and never left. Mm. Drinking my Gatorade. Not gonna lie, Jack Frost and Black Frost get me a little going. How? Emperor's New Groove. Emperor's New Groove was awesome, but that was also like 30 years ago. <laughs> Reason for liking Fate Grand Order, I have 9 foot tall snake mommy. Yeah, and Fate has some pretty good women. I mean, the entire game is built around catching waifus, so... I uh, need food price to go down five or six dollars for one pound of lean, uh, lean ground beef. It's fucking insane. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Biden. Okay. Well, his brother from another mother. Oh, we have another job quest. Okay. About time. Now you've beaten FF16. Do you want the main line to continue becoming more of an action RPG? Uh, I'm down with it going back to more basics or going with more character action. Uh, I kind of view it as like a reverse version of uh, Yakuza 7. It's a cool experiment, but, you know, I, I like the more traditional ATB style or even turn-based RPG. Uh, so let's not completely throw the baby out with the bathwater. Uh, been getting better deals at the butcher try there. Yeah, that is true. A local butcher, always a lot better than grocery store. Which flavor of Gatorade? It is grape. Because I kind of have an affinity for it. I just think it tastes good. Have you read the manga Nana? I have not. Only I can defeat Eisenhower, Joe Biden. Rock picker. Okay, and now we can actually become a monk. How fucking time. Uh, for long time, I thought your avatar was the female trainer for Pokemon Sword Shield because the color and the way she's sitting. Do I know it's Megami's hat? Yeah. That's in the carnivore diet. Remember you said your dad was on and lost weight quick. If, is he still on or did he stop? He's off and on. Uh, sometimes he'll stick with it. Uh, mainly when he's like... You know, trying to dry out. Like, he, if he's been drinking for a little bit, and it's like, eh, I kind of want to dry out because, you know, I'm getting older and it's impacting my weight more and more. So, he'll, he'll dry out and he'll suck the carnivore and that will work. And then he'll kind of, like, let himself slip. And it's like, well, it's fine. It's only a few pounds. And then he gets mad at himself. It's like, yeah. But it does work for him. It does work for him and he stands by it. Dancing cat girls. Uh, did you see the reference by Rev says Dasu? Yeah. And it was specifically about the fucking, um, the, the, uh, what was it? The, the lady who was, like, whining about the Mass Effect 2 Miranda ass shot, where it's like a, you're staring at her butt. Uh, and it's like, well, you know, compared to Baldur's Gate 3, where there's so much more context, and people found out she was a V Shoujo admin, so I was like, Oh god, if he showed Joe had been making like bullshit rules about sexuality, it makes too much sense. Uh, May Myraeus for 15 bucks. I bought my first gun, Chris Vector, 45 edition, and I'm hyped to go to the shooting range to finally shoot a gun. Anyone know how much ammo a first timer should bring? I have 100 rounds currently. 100 rounds is about good, you know, a few magazines worth. And Chris Vector, holy shit, that's actually pretty legit. I always like those things, that looks so fucking cool. Uh, do you know the food being luxury in Alcatraz broke the prison spirits? Yeah. Miranda isn't even human, though. Well, she is. She's just been genetically engineered. And and the cutscene, they're like, oh, well, she's trying to explain how fucked up her childhood is, and, and she didn't want to be a sex object. It's like, it's the exact opposite. 
Like, Miranda is very, very open about, like, yeah, I was created to be a femme fatale, and I'm very proud of who I am. Like, she'll flirt with Shepard and be like, well, I bet you want to appreciate my body, because she can guess right, male Shepard wants to fuck her. It's like, she's specifically talking about how she didn't want her dad to control her and make her do things. Like, no, she, if she's going to do something, she's going to do it. I decided to rewatch Monk after a decade. Forgot how good of a detective show it was. It is good. Even though our face is eh. Listen, it was Xbox 360 era. You do what you gotta do. So you're saying I was predisposed to want to romance Miranda. Me and everybody went with Tali. Miranda's whole job is to do Shepard and try to keep him under Cerberus' control. Exactly. I was pissed when I heard they took that away from the remastered version. Yeah. And once again, that, that was a case of like, you know, for 20 years this was okay, but all of a sudden it's in a front to cinema. Fuck you. Tolly's cute, though. A lot of people really like Tolly. I want a blue alien chick. Don't judge me. Uh, Liara? Yeah, Liara's another one where if you play Mass Effect 1, they really want to push her on you. Alright, whale. Your time to shine. Tally does fangirl over you, though. Yeah, it, it's, canoni it, it's canonical. If you play uh, Male Shepherd, she straight up has a crush on you. The only thing is the guy who made the mod remove the butt shots went back and made another mod to put them back in. Yeah. I I never I never bought into the bullshit. Like, well it doesn't fit the scene. It's like it does. It's a it's a joke. Like the joke is the fact that yeah, she's attractive, she's a femme fatale. It's not the end of the world. Should I play a 360 version or definitive? Uh, Legendary Edition, it adds a bunch of stuff. Mainly the Mass Effect 1. Um, honestly, between 2 and Legendary, the only thing I can think of is if you want to buy Vanilla 2, A, I don't think you can anymore on PC, uh, and B, EA might try to bleed you for the DLC, where if you buy Legendary, it's already going to have all of it. Except I think the, the Commander Shepard trilogy is still for sale. I don't know. Are spiders in 14? Yeah. I'm going through the Castlevania games again. Gets pretty rough. Uh, pretty rough, not gonna lie, but I kind of miss simplicity for the uh, Ega games. Yeah, there's an appeal to them. My thing is, I love Symphony of Night so much. I'm like, I don't care if people fucking curse Ega's name. I'll always love that man. You know, those old Metroidvanias, like, I played the shit out of Bloodstained when it came out. I fucking love that. Yeah, that reignited my childhood. Uh, funny how so many people are insecure about sexuality. They think it should be removed from everything in your gross pervert for liking it. Yeah, like, now you have that take where people are bitching about Oppenheimer for the sex scenes where it's, uh, fucks the commie chick. And they're like, well, what did that add? What did that add? It's like... I mean, it's pretty fucking obvious if you paid attention in the movie. And I think the funny part about it is, like, the the people where if you look at their Twitter follows and they're 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 following like every fucking porn artist under the sun, but if they watch a movie that has a sex scene in it, they'll have to write like a, a five paragraph long. Or, like splee or whatever about why it's wrong, unethical, evil, and the movie should be burned because of it. It's like, fuck off. They do. The like, DLC was ten dollars playing through Xbox. Oh man, that's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. It's a fucking almost like what, fifteen year old game now.
any interest in Starfield, I'm gonna see how it, I'm gonna see how it launches, <laughs> which I feel is the very very safe option. Modders have also been really active in bringing the mods that made the ending better to Legendary Edition. Yeah, yeah, well, they try to like, they, they try to like uh, add in some cutscenes with like uh, in engine stuff. Uh, they try to make it to where you can play the game after Earth and you can do all the DLC, which really it should have been how it works, but they wanted to push the whole like, well, you don't know what happened to the galaxy, which fuck you. That was Ashley talking about uh, in Mass Effect 1. Uh, she's there. Like, she's another case of the game kind of pushes you, pushes her on you, but then it remembers, like, huh, that's right, uh, we can kill her off. So they kind of forget her when Liara comes into play. Just go watch porn. It's honestly the best response to people praising PG3 for the loot shit. Yeah. And it makes me sad because it's it's selling it's selling people on the wrong version of the game where it's like people are already complaining and apparently even the devs started leaking into it a little bit towards the end of development where um, the companions are a little bit of Dragon Age 2 syndrome where if you're nice to them whatsoever you can legitimately fall into traps where uh, you're, you're nice to them in a conversation and then boom out of nowhere you're dragged into a sex scene. And people are like, whoa, I was just trying to talk to you. I didn't I didn't want to fucking do this. And it's to the point that people are too paranoid of doing uh, of like falling into romances with them uh, with the party members that they're missing out on on context conversations with them because they're worried if they pick certain options, they will uh, get dragged into sex scenes. And it's like, hey, no, that's not what I fucking want. Like, apparently they're with Gail, who is the uh, the wizard dude you meet. Uh, there is exactly a trap like that where uh, you can talk to him to a conversation and he'll invite you in the tent and you think it's him talking to you about magic and boom it's a sex scene and then later on in the game there is another conversation where he talks to you uh, and has a similar proposition and you think it's a sex scene but it's actually him like genuinely wanting to spend time with you and befriend you so it's like that that is that is definitely a problem and I hope that they they fix that like maybe maybe change up uh, some parameters or, or like some scripts and and, and, you know, make it to where you can, like, just talk to them without that. Uh, Dragon Age 2 had my favorite wife of the series. Love me, autistic blood mage elf. But you know what I mean? Like, if you didn't want to romance them, you had to outright be a dick. And even then, they would try to fuck you. And it's like, ah. Uh... Sounds like they need to add a heart, uh, a heart next to the options to activate sex scenes. That'd be, that'd be a smart idea. I've read the manga Citrus. It's got an anime adaptation uh, that heavily toned down the original source material in favor of turning into more of size of the life series. I know, isn't that like a really pe uh, a really popular Yuri one? Yeah. Liara, Samara, Miranda, Jack, uh, Ma uh, Mass Effect 3, and Tali would uh, the girls I'd, be, I'd fuck. A lot of people really like Jack from Mass Effect 2, though. They like her arc because she actually has one. They really don't want you to RP as a monk. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Like, the game's definitely not perfect. Uh, it has a lot of issues, but the scale they were shooting for, it only kind of makes sense that they would. Where it's like, yeah, I mean, you shoot for the sun, and obviously you're gonna you're gonna hit some some fucking problems. But what they're able to accomplish, I think, more than makes up for it. It's just kind of weird quirks. You're streaming a lot this week. Well, it's because I really wanted to play Paths of the Righteous because everyone was talking about uh, Baldur's Gate, and I didn't stream Final Fantasy this week. You know, you you are always going to get a Final Fantasy stream until I forget or or fall asleep or something like that. But uh, you know, there wanting to like do uh, games other than that, that's going to come down to if I feel like it. I love telling people about the entire Jacob storyline and ask what the what did Bioware mean by this. Jacob was kind of a funny one where it's like, he is, as much as people talk about Miranda being the thirst trap of the series, and it's like, oh, she's there for the horny boys. What the fuck was Jacob there for? <laughs> Almost every conversation, it's him working out or without a shirt, and it's like, huh. 
What did Bioware mean by this? What did Bioware mean by this? Woke up to a stirring drink of my blood. I was really close to executing him. Yeah, you can do that. And apparently, if you let him, if you let him drink your blood, he can accidentally kill you. <laughs> Jacob's just black people. The character. I think he has more to him than that, but it is funny how, like, he also has father abandonment issues. <laughs> that's Vega. Well, that's Mass Effect 3. Uh, Mass Effect 2, it was Jacob. Maybe you romance him until he cheats on you, what a cunt. Yeah, he sure, like, ditches you. He ditches you and gets another chick pregnant. It's fucking funny. Jacob was there to be an accurate black representation. The only romance option in the series that cheats on you. <laughs> it is really funny. Now, we are a monk. Should have an affection system where you're able to have multiple types of affection. Mentorship, friendship, and romance. I think that would be a good idea, yeah. Kind of do an overhaul to where people aren't running into these issues. Yeah, some people think it's funny, but others are kind of annoyed because they just want to talk to the characters. Jacob is a black father who wants to cheat and run. What did Bioware mean by this? Yeah. Ugh. I'm sad Kasumi isn't able to do romance because she's more interested in watching Jacob work out. Yeah, that was a little annoying. I was like, man, what, what, why you gotta dangle her in front of me if you won't let me, you won't let me romance her? It's fucking bullshit. There we go. I mean, why would we ever stick with the basic class? <laughs> Uh, it said level 35, so we might already be ready to... Back, let me take a look around. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> uh, George pretty strong B BG3. Yeah, from what I understand, magic's pretty, pretty OP. They should let you fuck Kasumi and, uh, well, on top of her boyfriend's memory box thing, yeah. Who is the worst romance option? Mass Effect, there are a lot of really bad ones. Uh, Samara's daughter was pretty bad, Morinth. Because she just kills you, it's a joke one. And it's like, really? So, literally, what is the point of her? N not only that, not only uh, does she kill in Mass Effect 2, in like, Mass Effect 3, I think she becomes like one of the Banshees that you have to kill. And she gets, like, a line where they're like, was that Morinth? And, and you just move on and, and pretend it never even happened. It's the most, like, why the fuck would you ever pick this? And it's like, you gave me the option. So you do have to go back there, okay. You know what, I'm just gonna teleport. Only problem with Jacob is he was the info dump for new players. Yeah, he really was. He explains who Cerberus was, he explains why you were in the hospital bed. It's like, oh, you were this, you were that. It's like, yeah. Need an option in character creation to pick what sexuality preference so you don't accidentally become gay? Dude, can you imagine if they put an option for you to be straight in the game? People would be, like, frothing at the mouth wanting to murder the developers. It doesn't matter that, like, you know, hey, players want to do it because they don't feel comfortable, like, being forced into fucking gay romance shit, but just the fact they consider it, they'd get fucked over. I also have the option to just sell Legion to Cerberus. Doesn't mean you have to take it. Yeah, exactly. It's like... That's what I talked about in the Mass Effect video. Some of the some of the choices aren't choices. They're just kind of like... They're kind of like fuck you options that you only do because you played the game like five times and you want to see what happens. It's not... It's not a good idea. You fuck yourself out of story content later down the line, like party members, it's just an objectively worse option, but you can do it because they're like, well, is anyone going to fall for it? Straight, male, human, fighter. More than that, white, brown hair.
We still didn't die in an email like Carl Rieger. I'll never forget Bioware for that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Carl, uh, the journalist chick who wasn't a piece of shit. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, the fucking colonists. The the colonists you save from the, uh, the plant thing, Mass Effect 1. Apparently, they die. Like, there are a lot of people that Mass Effect 3 kills off specifically through emails, and it's kind of bullshit. Remember when you could accidentally enter gay sex in Cyberpunk? You could, but... <sighs> That's one of those of, like... The game already gives you so many different fucking, like, flags for that. That I kind of... I kind of... I kind of view that more as like, nah, dude, you just weren't paying attention. At least how I view it, because it's like, I mean, the shit with Carrie, they flat out scream in your face. So it's like, eh, you kind of have no one to blame but yourself there. Okay. Just gotta go to Eastern. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. So they spent the last $5. Whoops, meant James Vega, not Jacob, was the info dump character. He actually had a nice personality that wasn't boring like Jacob. Well, Jacob also was too. That's it. Vega was kind of just the Hispanic version of Jacob. And a little bit more egregious. I like an option to remove gay shit entirely. Give me an option in settings. They'll never, they'll never put one. Just having one there would piss people off. Two sub colonists don't get killed off. They're noted for their ability to fight together perfect communication. Was it? There was, there was like one where like, uh... There was one group where even if you save them in, like, Mass Effect 1 or 2, they die no matter what. And a lot of people are actually kind of annoyed at that. Uh... Call Rigger, Emily Wong, the Asari Spirit Saren's base. It, yeah, 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 that was it. It was her. That's who I was thinking of. The the chick you spare uh, at Saren's base, because it turns out she's been indoctrinated. And she, she actually kills, like, a... Yeah, like, a bunch of Asari High Command, yeah. Yeah, Mass Effect 3 just like to spit in your face. It really did. That's where, once again, I was kind of like, there is no reason to ever pick Renegade, because the game is aggressively trying to punish you. He's the most honest representation of a Marine in the series. You shut your whore mouth. He was a dude. And it's really unfortunate I had a Blackie Lawless. He just got a surgery, though, and they say he's okay. So, good news. Good news. Carrie said he wanted to show me his cool snake. I don't know why John is screaming at me. <laughs> yeah, we gotta tune to some of these crystals. We fucked up. Uh, I was a bit spiffy about Beef McLarge at first, but he's alright. He's not as bad as what people say, but he is definitely, like, just there. Wait, Emily Wong dies in an email. Yeah, she decides to stay on Earth to report the Reaper invasion, and remember, Earth gets fucking genocided. <laughs> is that your pimp mobile mount? It is the whale, yes. How woke is Baldur's Gate 3? I haven't noticed anything that would be, like, exceptionally annoying. Like, so far, it's actually been pretty neutral on a lot of stuff, but I'm expecting that to change as time goes on. Fucking hated Carrie, that boat thing pissed me off. I thought Carrie was fun. It's like, yeah, burnt out rock star. You gotta know Carrie wanted to fuck Johnny for years now. He's a chance by gaslighting V. Yeah. Is this game any fun or hurts coming to Xbox soon? I love it. It's like one of the only MMOs I've ever actually stuck with. The hell is this Harry Potter music? It is the whale's theme, and you will respect it. This whale's a big, you know, big dummy with a big heart. He's trying to do his best. Ow. I think it was Bioware's attempts to show the effects of war and how you can't save everyone, but no, that's bullshit. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you can't have plot armor to every single character, but it just gets to the point of, if you're going to kill them off, let us see it. You know, like, Thane has a really good death. Where he goes out like a fucking champ. Same with Morden. Morden has, like, one of the best deaths... One of the best death scenes in the entire fucking franchise. You hurt the whale. The whale hurt me. 
World of Warcraft killed by cities of heroes. Yeah. And you're never allowed into those private servers. Did you see Blue Beetle director say Bane was an allegory for interventionism called a misunderstood hero? Creator Bane even came out and called his bullshit out. Yeah. That's the thing where, like, every single thing they... Whenever they do a press release talking about fucking Blue Beetle, all they do is make it worse and make people not want to see it. It's like, for the love of God, stop talking. I will admit that in uh, 3, I never punched the bitch reporter. I really liked the scene with Shep comforting her with all the things happening was sweet. I always followed up with, like, Mass Effect 1, I hit her. Mass Effect 2, I hit her. Mass Effect 3, I comfort her. Where it's like, yeah, that's just, that's a fun little, fun, fun little arc, you know? Thane's death was okay, but why does Kai Lang need to exist? Yeah, he was he was kind of just goofy. Where it's like he's Cyber Ninja. It's like, yes, I know about Raiden. He's just Raiden, but a dick. I love this whale falls through stories. He's a magic whale. You see, he's not even he's not even sliding against the ground. He's floating. Now we take this fairy. I hit her. The arc was a running joke. That's fair. Is the whale a humpback? If he is, then you're good. <laughs> then you're good. They like to mess with orcas when they hunt. Yeah. I think Pat explained Kai Lang best. Two writers arguing about whether he's cool or not. That is true. Because there, there's moments where it feels like they want him to almost be kind of a joke. Where it's like, what the fuck? And then there's moments where they, they go out of their way to be like, no, but he's so fucking cool, though. It's like, eh. Well, he we spent 90 bucks on that whale. He was he was pretty expensive. He was an expensive little whale. This part is in the Mass Effect books. Uh, apparently, there's a bit of a meme line where he searches an apartment for a bowl of cereal. Oh, man. Uh, I'm not watching Blue Beetle. If I want to see wetbacks, go to El Paso. Well, I mean, like, Blue Beetle has been a Hispanic kid for a little bit now. Uh, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with him. He's actually been pretty cool, at least in the comics from what I understand. I don't know too much about Blue Beetle, but I know people like him. Uh, it's just the fact that, like, with the movie, they're doing everything they can to piss people off with, like, the dumbest, like, shock bait uh, statements ever. You have, you have to whale for a whale? Alright, that's pretty funny. Yeah. And he's a very good whale. Blue Beetle was the best of Batman Brave in the Bull cartoon. Yeah, from what I understand, uh, he was really good in that. Lolly bought a whale. Feeder confirmed. Uh, don't you see in the apparent worst book in the series, Kyle Lang eats cereal in Anderson's apartment and puts it back? Is that just actually a thing? Like, what the fuck? I didn't read any of the Mass Effect books. Uh, what the hell is Lopez in the movie? I don't know. George Lopez? Yes. Uh, George Lopez, Trump is a fascist line, comes off kind of goofy when you think that many of these Mexicans like Trump. Yeah. And it's current thing isn't the current thing. Every single bit of uh, marketing material has just been, guys, we know the current thing. Yeah. I stopped caring about superhero stuff, to be real with you. Yeah, it's hard it, It's hard to really deny that uh, superhero burnouts kicked in. It's like, no, people are tired. They're tired and they want something else. Uh, watch a full cut video on Berserk and just want to tell you, you got me in the manga. Thank you so much. Yeah. A lot of good ones. A lot of really good ones. Ow. For the first Mass Effect book, it was meh. Yeah, a lot of video game books don't tend to be the best, and it's just kind of like, eh. 
not much different from you know reading fan fiction. It's just it's you know officially approved, quote unquote. I mean, some of the Resident Evil books are pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, it's not, they're not tired. There's one better writing. I don't know. I think I think some people are legitimately just tired of superheroes. You can only you can only milk a genre for so long before people just get exhausted, you know. I hope your solid novels are pretty solid. I always forget that those exist. So I'm just like, that is so fucking weird. I don't even know why it's weird. I just think it's weird. Uh, honestly, surprised uh, kick Breaking Bad never uh, kicked off the cartel movie craze. Honestly, I like to watch some movies on that. Well, I mean, there there are movies on cartels and stuff. You have like Sicario and Cartel Land and stuff like that. I wrote better fan fiction, Mass Effect Ascension. Yeah, I know that was uh, that that was one of the books. Uh, is that the prequel or or what? I I don't know. We shall just teleport. Which marker was not that great to me because I feel it focuses more on kids in high school, which I don't really care for. I thought it was fine. I thought it actually had a pretty good mix of like kids in high school and war crimes. I think it's just people are people wanted Iron Blood Orphans again, and it's like, well, that wasn't really that was never really gonna be what it was. They fix Mass Effect Andromeda. It's impossible to fix Andromeda. Some of the problems are like skin. Some of the problems are bone deep. You know, the, the the goofy shit was just the skin. There was way more wrong with that than just, you know, goofy faces. I wonder how the DCU is still a thing of taking so many L's. It's impressive. It's actually kind of impressive. It's like, holy shit. Where are you in A Realm Reborn? We're like, uh... Level 20 quests? Uh, let me let me take a look real quick. We can know where we're at based on like the general region of what our, our quest level is at. Level 20, so yeah. We're we're still we're still a ways off from uh from 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 beating a realm reborn. Yeah. Okay, so here. Ethernet. Uh, okay. Should be... There we go. Essentially, it was a prequel following Anderson's mission with Saren. They mentioned one. Yeah, that was it. I heard people, like, fucking hated that. Game fixing gay list be Krogan's with a patch. Exactly. Unfortunately, there's no mod for Andromeda that fixes the cancelled single-player DLC. No Quarians for you. That's honestly for the best. I would hate to see how they tumblerize fucking Quarians. Because Andromeda, like, Andromeda stunk of that, of just the absolute tumblerfication of Bioware. Inquisition, like Dragon Age Inquisition, had moments of that. But I felt like it was just boring enough to be inoffensive, where you had the dumbass shit like a Quinari, like... Literally giving a pep talk to the fucking trans soldier going, No, you're just as valid as all of us. And it's just the most blatant fucking shit in the world. It's like, fuck you, I don't care. Uh, but, you know, the, the elf chick they flat out said they made ugly on purpose. Uh, shit like that. But Andromeda is where it got really bad. Uh, where's such 3 born again for all? Andromeda is really weird. I remember the friendly aliens only have two guns and they're both single shot. No wonder they're losing. They only have plasma muskets. Yeah. Here's Hapathetic Black Q for a dollar. I have a question about Avatar Last Airbender. Where were no air nomads allowed to have partners for the purpose of procreation? Was that concept not explored in the series? I thought they did. Because I mean they they had a people and, and they were they were like one of the stronger of the uh the four elements. Uh and it was just uh the fire the fire nation genociding them. Chopping on a tree. 
gonna get the whale. I told people they were making chicks ugly on purpose, no one believed me until they saw the elf chick. Well, I mean, the elf chick, they flat out admitted. Like, I, I still believe a lot of the, the ugly chicks we see in the games is, is, like, just sheer laziness with the facial scans. Where they don't want to adjust to an art style or, or like, make edits to make it fit. Uh, they just take a face data and slap it on a model with no attempt whatsoever to actually, like, do anything. Yeah. But, uh, in regards to Dragon Age Inquisition, where, no, there wasn't, there wasn't any facial scans. They were all still created models. They flat out admitted they made the elf chick on per uh, ugly on purpose to challenge beauty standards, and she was one of the worst fucking characters in the entire game. Like, she wasn't likable at all. She was, like, the... She was the epitome of one of the fucking devs, like, fanfic characters. Where she was, like, really quirky and weird, and she would always get up to the crazy uh, stuff. She would troll the bad guys and be like, oh, they can't catch me. It's like... If anyone if anyone played through fucking Pathfinder or Kingmaker, uh, Darwin. There you go. Darwin. That, but even worse. Hey, look, it's the same fish-eyed, strong, middle-aged black lady again. I feel bad for her. Like, if if you find out that you're being hired specifically because you look ugly and they want to make a stereotypical black chick, I'd be insulted. I'd legit be like, hey, that's kind of fucked up. What's the most Ed's Lord thing you guys enjoyed that wasn't Berserker Gantz? Uh, shit like Devilman. Devilman, Demon Lord Dante, Mylinch Jack, uh... Punisher Max get pretty edgy. There, there's a lot. There's a lot out there. They never made that poor black lady look good. She looks fine. IRL too, not even on set. Yeah, that'd be something to where it's like, maybe she just doesn't understand. Uh, what they're doing and things like... I mean, that's how game development works. Like, no, I think they're fucking you over. At least you can murder uh, Darwin afterwards. That is true. At least you could kill him. That's why I said, but worse. Uh, Inquisition just suffers from Marvel Syndrome. On multiple levels, yeah. Multiple very deep levels. Well, Mountain Blade characters look better in some games. Eh, you're not wrong. Probably doesn't play video games. That's true. She's probably just an actress. And I assume so. I mean, Whoopi Goldberg's a huge Diablo fan, so anything's possible. Blade of the Immortal? I wouldn't really call Blade of the Immortal edgy. I mean, it's dark, but I mean, when I hear edgy, I'm thinking like edgy, like heavy metal album shit. Uh, Fierce up to thank Black Q for a dollar. And after the last airbender, Aang's parents are depicted as being separated because air nomad monks are not permitted to have romantic partners. The suspect of their culture draws inspiration from real life monastic traditions. I don't know anything about airbender deep lore. I know the bits and pieces I remember from the cartoon. I watched like a while ago. But it makes sense because uh, the air people are supposed to be like Buddhist monks. So maybe they, they kept it to be like a very, very strict professional thing where you 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 stayed with women for the sake of you know, keeping the air air tribe going and, and anything beyond that's fair bulletin because you're just supposed to be monks. Akami got kills edgy. Akami got kills very fucking edgy. Eh. Uh, worst touch to the boring in for a dollar. I just wanted to bang Scout Harding. She's cute. Everyone else can go fuck themselves. Also, the PR lady was cute too. I don't remember anyone in fucking Inquisition. Is it weird that I want to fuck the Silent Hill nurses? I mean, part of the game is repressed sexuality. The only good thing about Inquisition is the mage class that gives uh, sword magic is cool. I'll call it Blood Sea edgy, but I don't know. That is, that is pretty edgy. Do do.
Wasn't Harding a midget? I don't fucking remember. Wasn't our video slated for today? It is currently available for the early bros. So if you if you're in the Discord or or you donated on the uh, Patreon or subscribe star, it's available for you. It'll be made unlisted tomorrow. I think they're down there. Vagabond? Vagabond's another one. I wouldn't really call edgy. Harding was the cutie dwarf scout. Oh. I don't remember fucking anyone in Inquisition. I remember Varric, and that's just because he was in Dragon Age 2. And I was like, okay, you're like the one party member I don't want to kill. Around what hour? That's the special part. You don't know. We do have healers and that hardcore, especially compared to uh, attempting to watch Tokyo Gore Police. It's not as fucked up, but it is edgy. That, that's one I would definitely say is, like, definitely edgy. Do. Better get used to that noise. You hear it a lot. They do change it up, though. I think come to Heaven's Ward, they have a new theme. Vagabond's the opposite of edgy. Exactly. It's very, like... It earns its shit. Magical Girl Apocalypse is pretty edgy. That sounds edgy. A lot of those genre subversion stuff tend to be... Do, 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 do. Goodbye, Will. What advice would you give to give over uh, to get over being scared of horror movies? Uh, I don't know, cause like that would that would imply that I myself don't get freaked out at horror movies, but you know I do sometimes. I guess the best advice is um, watch it with buddies and like crack jokes. You know, cause, cause that can help you know ease tension and all that. Watch bad horror movies too, cause uh, those are those. Those are so impossible to take seriously that it's like you'll be laughing. Alright. We shall use the syrup on the sapling. Huh. Uh, is amber syrup and curious tusk? Oh, that's not what we need. Okay. I fucked up. There it is. Dorihidoro. Dorihidoro, yes, no, maybe, sorta, kinda. Because it doesn't take itself too seriously, but it is, like, violent and shit, so, I don't know. Uh, that's, that's a weird one. That is a weird one, I'm not gonna lie. Do what I do, uh, and have a bedroom downstairs, turn to the darkness of your cock out, and give it a good stroke? I would not recommend doing this, especially if you watch horror movies with friends. Remember the Elevator Satan movie? The one that M. Night Shyamalan did? Yeah, that one was weird. There's bad edgy like Redo of Healer and good edgy like Berserk. That's the way I view it, yeah. My, my rule of edgy is like, okay, does the protagonist rape? Because if protagonist rapes and he is not punished for it, I think too edgy and not good. If rape and punished for it, pretty fucking edgy, but I can get over it. But uh, if they don't rape and and all that and then you're you're good dark you're good you're you're good dark because you understand that the the protag needs to have standards berserk is just a sad love story that's yeah probably a good way to put at it But the rape was deserved. Rikudo? Rikudo's pretty fucking edgy, because that's just uh, Hajime no Ippo, but with a lot of, like, psychological issues. <laughs> Poor Ebisu just gets turned into a joke. Alright. 
Yeah, welcome to a Realm Reborn. It's fetch quest after fetch quest after fetch quest. Shadow the Hedgehog isn't edgy. He doesn't rape. Therefore, can't be edgy. Spaceman last two hours. Doesn't the protag a bastard grape? That bad edgy. No, because the women end up liking it in the end. Therefore, he does not rape. Therefore, it is good dark. In fact, some of those women risked their lives to save him. So. Oh god, I forgot about these. This is one that drags on. The fuck is that hentai logic? That's the, that's the logic that Bastard uses. And it's great. Uh, I read H.G. the Killer and had two chapter NTR rape scene. Kind of glad they left that out in the movie. I mean, they already have so much else in the movie that's like... <laughs> oh god, the sylphs. Yeah, you, you end up working for the sylphs for a while. Bastards of harem manga. It is. It really is. Why is rape the meter stick for edgy? I don't know, but that's the rules. What is wrong with women fetishizing rape? I painted on D'Angelo Wallace. Like from the wire? Let me make sure that I'm not get, I'm not getting mixed up with somebody here. Cuz I hear D'Angelo Wallace and I'm like, isn't that a dude from the wire? They're a YouTuber. I have no idea who this is. I thought you were talking about a dude from the wire. <laughs> Holy Land, Holy Land is pretty good. I like that one. Cause that's just about teenagers beating the shit out of each other. Uh, you mean you don't like Feiul Lali? You don't like hearing their annoying voices? I don't like working for them for so long. They they have like fifty different fucking quests. So you gotta do like the little fucking dance for them all. To the point of like, you may as well just... Here. Just to make it easy. Very fast just comes a female desire to give control to a man, but in a self-controlled, uh, safe-controlled environment. I do notice that like, I read I read like a shonen manga, or a seinen manga, you know, that thing that... That they insist over and over again is full of, like, men objectifying women and, and raping them and all that. And I don't really find it that much, you know? I'm even going through through City Hunter again, where Rio is like a classic, you know, Johnny Bravo-style protagonist. You know, he, he's hitting on women, he's groping them, he, he's sexually harassing them, all this. And it's like, oh, wow, you know, he, 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 you know he's, he's pretty skeezy. But he never crosses the line to full-blown rape. He'll even, like, outright kill dudes that, that try to cross that line and, like, talk about how they're pieces of shit. Then I decide, you know what, I'm going to read, uh, like, a shoujo thing, you know, or or, or or something like that. And immediate, like, first chance they get, the main guy is creeping on the chick and stalking her and, and like, trying to get her to separate from her friends and, like, trying to copy her phone and, and, like, all the data from her phone and all the contacts. It's like, and for some reason they're they're treated as the good guy. It's like, I think, I think women are uh, very strange creatures. Devil, uh, Devil Lady manga is way more edgy than the anime, and the anime is still pretty edgy. Yeah, the the anime changed a bunch of the details. Where like it's not a, she wasn't a teacher anymore, and like she didn't watch her students get raped. <laughs> Devil Man Lady's fucking crazy. Talk to me. There we go. 
You're doing the thug shaker for a bunch of fairies? They make me. Same reason guys like Yonders. That is true. That is true. Now we gotta do a fucking shopping list. I like Devil Man Lady. I also like Devil Man Lady. I'm pretty sure we don't need it anymore. Women want to be taken just by somebody hot. That is true. Great teacher on Izuka is really edgy in import. It is, but I feel like it kind of earns it, where so much of it is so, like, Great Teacher on Izuka is like a gag thing for a while, and it's mainly a comedy, so it kind of earns those moments where it kind of has to remind you of the premise and be like, yeah, he was a fucking gangster. <laughs> no, he wasn't like former Yaku he, he wasn't like a formal Yakuza, but, you know, it's like, he was still a gangster. Uh, he very rapey, but he had big hands. That is literally the logic sometimes. It's like, no, but he protecting me. It's like, no, I think he's just a fucking lunatic. Is Punisher Max edgy? It definitely can be. That's not even a fucking joke. He was a petty thug. Yeah. What do you use to download YouTube clips? You kind of have to use a variety of things, because YouTube will always be trying to shut down, uh, like, sites and apps that let you download stuff. And also be careful, because a lot of them can also just straight up be malware traps. Uh, the invention of lying has such good concept and wasted by forcing to be a romantic comedy. It's like making the Batman comic be about his goldfish. I was fine with that, because, I mean, you, you have what the movie's about, then you have to have what it's actually about. So framing it as a romantic comedy, there's, there's worse you can do. I mean, there's a ton of, like, fantasy romantic comedy stuff. You know, uh... Eh. Fuck it up. Yeah, you know, there's tons of those. Uh, so, using using a movie like that to kind of explore this concept in this world, I think is alright. What kind of annoyed me was all the, like, really, really fucking cringy, uh... Man, isn't religion all a big lie thing that it, it liked to do and it really harped on at the end? Where it's like, man, this is really fucking embarrassing. <laughs> Then you remember Ricky Gervais unironically believes he's like an oppressed atheist and like he's done those photo shoots where it's him naked, crucified, and, and it's him trying to be like, I'm just like Jesus because everyone shits on me. It's like, uh, you're funny, but like, man. Remember think shoujo manga? I think of those shoujo anatomy compilations. <laughs> Double Man's story is basically Satan being punished and we're just stuck in the punishment. Yeah. What are you talking about? It's a movie called Invention of Lying. It's a Ricky Gervais comedy. Uh, and the concept is genuinely kind of fun. Where it's um it's an alternate history like slash world slash sci-fi concept where throughout all of human history, the idea of lying has never been created. Everyone is just brutally honest. And it's actually kind of funny. Where, where they don't even, like, it's not even like you're considering lying. It, there's just no way to even do it. You you just tell the truth. They have no fiction. It's all documentaries, and it's all just very dry facts. Um, so Ricky Gervais's character, out of nowhere one day, just has the ability to tell lies. And it, it talks about, like, the very shenanigans he gets up to uh, now that he has the ability to lie. And the first half of the movie is kind of fun, where it's him like trying to get a million dollars and, and get famous, and, and he writes movies for the first time where he's just inventing stuff in his head, and it's like, oh my god, this is awesome. Uh, then the second half really pushes this, like, he, he has like a dying family member who, uh, I think it was his mom, uh, who who is like passing away, and he feels really bad, and he's trying to comfort her. Because she's talking about how she's going to die and, and go to the great big nothing, because, you know, it's like... You know, you die and, you know, everything turns black and you just shut off forever. Uh, and she's scared. And he goes like, no, 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 you'll go, to, you'll go to heaven. You'll go to a very comfortable place. And that ends up spreading like wildfire uh, and creates religion. And it turns into this whole thing of like, it gets out of hand and, and, and oh no, he has to fix it. That's it. It gets, it gets pretty fedora tippy towards the end. It's not a bad movie, but it is there of like, oh God. 
What I think about Ricky Gervais, you're funny, but there's a reason I don't fucking like you. Exactly. My dad actually met Ricky Gervais at a restaurant, my grandpa, and I keep giving him shit for being acting autistic during an interaction. I mean, it is one of those of like, how do you react? On one hand, you want to be like, oh, I treat him like a regular person. Then you're in the situation and you don't know how to react. Ricky is goaded for what he said to Hollywood elites, though. Eh. On one hand, yes. On the other hand, but is he any different, though? Is he any different? Have you seen the foundation on Apple TV? Watch the first episode. I can immediately tell the main character was gender swapped and the plot's pretty dumb. Uh, also, predicting the end of the Empire. I've never seen it, so I don't know. Uh. Used to use YouTube DL, but the quality's not high enough. Yeah, I stayed. Like, it's hard to even give out a name of a, a site to download shit, because it'll, it'll go down within a day of you trying to use it. Some links don't even work with some sites. I mainly try to use, I think it was like, uh, let me look here. Yeah, y2mate.is. That's, that's the one I try to use. Even then, that one goes down all the fucking time, and it's replaced by, like, copy sites that are trying to give you malware, so there's no reliable option. I have the premise of one of the uh, Cinema Sins movies. Uh, uh, you popular YouTube uh, atheist gets a revelation from God telling him he needs to spread the word that God's real. That could be funny. I hung out with a cool tomboy today. Life is good. You're gonna find out that it. Uh, you're gonna find out just to be cinema snob, not sins. Okay. That's kind of ironic, because, like, from my understanding, Cinema Snob's pretty... He's pretty also Fedora Tippy, so... But that that's kind of a funny concept. It's like, yeah. You have to tell people God's real. out from the realm we're born. We haven't even really gotten to the Empire yet. We haven't even gotten to Sid. A uh, pretty good show to consider is The Bear. I keep hearing that one's really good, and I do want to check it out. There's a bunch of stuff I'm watching, though. Like, uh, I started watching uh, Zombieverse, which so far is fun. You can't really binge it, though. If you binge it, it'll start feeling kind of repetitive. But if you watch it, like, maybe an episode a day, it's fun. That's the one where, um, it's, uh, if, if you remember Dead Set, the, the miniseries where it's the people in Big Brother get trapped in the house when, when zombies show up, uh, it's like that, but Korea. So a bunch of people sign up for a dating show in Korea and they think it's going to be that and they end up getting stuck in a zombie outbreak and still framed like they're part of a dating show. It, it's actually a lot of fun. I really liked it. Remember being born as a slog, it sets a lot up. It really does, yeah. It sets up what you're going to be doing, sets up a lot of the characters. Plus, I think there's just way too many fetch quests. That's on Cinema Sins and the content they made, Lolly Man. I never really got into them. I mainly watch, like, full-on review stuff, like, you know, Your Movie Sucks or, or Red Learn Media. I don't want, like, a quick, oh, here's going through all the movie's issues as fast as possible. It's like, no, I want to, like, you know... Have them take their time and talk about it. Uh. So our favorite locale, JSG, said to get into an internet slap fight with V and be kind of funny and how JSG ignores basic facts of human nature. Yeah, I saw that. To me, it kind of, it kind of seemed like both sides were kind of fart sniffy, where it's like, oh, one side cares about quality, the other equality. And it's like, well, equality is good because otherwise it leads to genocide. And I'm sitting there like, I don't fucking care. Throw a chair at each other. Stop using your gay ass big words. When is the next chapter of Berserk coming out? I have no fucking idea. They already announced there's no one for this this month. Whale. Uh, thoughts on Bloodstain playing through it? I'm having a blast. I also had a blast. I really liked it. Uh, 
Oh, lol, you're playing the trim down Rum Reborn experience. Yeah, I'm just rushing through the main story quest. Let's talk about uh, the Chocobo one. Thing is, that's only really to train your Chocobo how to fight, and we don't really need to do that. I think it also gives you, like, a black one, so, you know. Uh, equity is a lie, and you're both idiots enough said in that whole shit sling and fight. Last day, I think it's like they were both talking past each other and, and stretching it out way too long, where they were literally titling their video a response to a response to a response, and I'm like, I don't fucking care. And people kept pinging me each time someone uploaded, and it's like, I don't fucking care, for the love of God. It was funny at first, but I'm, I'm getting to the point of like, oh god. Uh, hey, Lolly, you played Dragon's Dogma, if so, what class were you? I played Warrior, because that's literally just being guts. Did you hear about the UK cop being called, do you look my, like my lesbian grandmother? Yeah, and apparently, uh, apparently it was an autistic chick who had a lesbian grandmother, and so she just said it without thinking. And the cop freaked out so bad, they arrested her and, like, dragged her out of her home. And people were going like, what the fuck is up with the UK that you just tolerate this? Ugh, I had to scratch my foot. Uh, why I hear iPhone message sounds? I don't know. The Brits are easily buck broken. They really are. Sorcerer class is Kino. Like I said, I only wanted the LARPer's guts. Because, I mean, the game was, like, partially inspired by Berserk. How would I not? Uh, their brains are baked like their beans. Yeah, you know, that's one thing to point out. It's like, it's like, yeah, we may have school shootings, but at least our police won't arrest you, you know, won't arrest us for calling them lesbians. I like negative XP songs, but sometimes cops can be pricks. Well, he does it ironically. You know, where, like, the the big thing was, like, the, you know, after George Floyd, like, fuck cops and, and you know, you know pigs, in, pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon, that shit. Uh, so he did the cover of, uh, I think it was like the Baked Alaska song, where it's like, we love our cops and law enforcement, as like a fuck you. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, you know, U UK's been a police state since 2020. It's been a police state since long before then. They would literally arrest people for buying fucking butter knives from the store. Oi, cunt, you got a, a license for a minge there, toy? Yeah, they're fucking like broken ass language. Do, 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 do. Eh. Uh, so but base for dollars. UK is falling. Millions must eat good food. No, no. Hear about the FBI killing an old dude in a raid in Ohio for threatening Biden? Yeah, and he was like a 75-year-old man, and like, he was fed posting, but the fact they raided his house and like killed him in the raids, like, they're trying to say he opened fire first, and everyone's saying the same thing. Probably fucking not, considering the history of the FBI and the ATF on shit like this. If anything, we're gonna find out they held a gun to his family or, or some crazy shit like that. I mean, stories like this never end well. <laughs> Bottle of water, but oh, of water. Yeah, that shit. 
They can't carry guns, but they sure can carry an ego. go up to here. Everything someone brings up, uh, uh, every time someone brings that Baked Alaska song, I remember Andy's stay back moment. Yeah. Stay back. Stay back. That's on Candy running for Prez. Probably stay out of Dallas. <laughs> His family doesn't have the best history there. You have to you have to have a license to own a TV. Must be really hell there. Hope to, Count Dankly can get out of there. Well, it's worse than that. He lives in Scotland, so not only is it bad, but like Scotland itself has its own level of like nightmare shitholery. Uh, must have a uh. Yeah. Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys. Yeah. Watching the stay back stream live, heard it was happening, but when I got out of work, tuned in just in time for the yelling. Yeah, it's fucking nuts. And I don't remember if there was like, I don't remember if there was actual dudes fucking with him or Andy was just like spazzing out over nothing. Let me out. Let me out. Brit Bongs talk a big game about no guns, but stores are still being robbed by thugs with pistols and shotguns. That is true. It's like, hey, those gun bans don't really work. Your crime is still pretty fucking terrible. Why can't these places be less pseudo commie shitholes? Because the CCP has two million spies across the Western world. Remember that. That's just the ones we know about. Uh, ring drunk dudes are following him. Oh, okay. I'm paying an iDubbbz apology video. I didn't watch it. I don't watch iDubbbz. All I know is Sam was right. No, I now understand where GW got the idea for Imperium considering they're a British company. Yeah, there you go. This one gives. I think it's just like property or some shit like that. We'll still accept it. Fuck it. Why not? Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's like a property thing. Okay. So. <laughs> uh, fuck it. Why not? Yeah, that's housing, yeah. They really try to push you into, like, doing the fucking gill sink that is housing. And he got into a fist fight and went to chase the guys and pretended they followed to have a reason to shoot the guys. Yeah. At least we don't have go shootings. And then they still do. And rape gangs and grenade attacks. Like, yeah, they still have all the horrible, horrible aspects of America. They just don't talk about it. You can go see in the neighborhood. Yeah, seriously. How do I avoid someone with a vomit fetish? Chances are you're not supposed to run into somebody with that. If you're really unlucky, just ghost them. Just, just ghost them. To lavender beds it is. Uh... Ah. 
There is no crime in Bossing Se, yes, yeah, seriously. Grenade attacks? Yeah. Shocker, some of the Muslim refugees they brought in were tied to terror cells who had access to military-grade weapons, including grenades. They had really bad acid attacks for a while. Can't walk down the fucking streets in London without running into a stabbing or Asians kidnapping little girls off the sidewalk. Yeah. Once again, it's a thing of, like, I am astonished that they're willing to put up with this just to be like, no, but we're, we're good guys, though. Right side of history. It's like, god damn. I think it really just comes down to they want someone to tell them what to do, and they're being told to tolerate it, so they get off on it. They get off on being told what to do. Now we've seen the neighborhood, we go back. New Seth Rogen team in T, which is a letdown from the original source material. The turtles n learn ninja skills off YouTube. Splinter hates humans, and then April's fat anxiety mess he throws up. Oh, God. Everything about that is just like, uh, that just sounds stupid. Especially the YouTube thing. I really fucking hate how they're trying to make every superhero, like, aware of YouTube. Like, uh, Spider-Man, like, yeah, Spider-Man across the, the Spider-Verse, like, Miles is, like, uploading shit to YouTube, and it's like, I always hate that shit. It, because they play into the worst aspects of it, where they act like they're unironic yuppie tubers, where, where they're doing the, you know, what is up, guys, thing, unironically. It's like, no, no, that's fucking dumb. Makes them hateable. Very good iPad. Uh, I learned drop kicking from video games and dummies from YouTube. Don't put that in media, though. Yeah. Even Batman uses YouTube to save the day. Yeah, don't. Don't put that on you. Yeah, don't put that on the internet. Don't put that in your in your story. It's like no. To me, it's it's one of the most ridiculous. I I am involved with the modern era shit, unless you're specifically making a story about social media impact. Out of my way, dear. In uh, Miles Morales' games, he just talks to people on Twitter. In the movie, he just wanted to clip shit. Uh, one is better than the other. Like, I can understand doing the, like, Spider-Man Twitter page thing. Because it's like, eh, that's a goofy enough little reference to... Especially with the way the game used it, where it's just keeping track of, like, stuff you do in the city and, and all that. I still am, like, very... Oh, I get, I get it. Modern era, you know, the fucking social media age. Everyone has a fucking Twitter page. Like... I always think it's so fucking embarrassing, because I can imagine it's it's some 36-year-old dude who still thinks he's 17, trying to write it, and it's annoying. What is the floating whale called? It's called the Indigo Whale. See? He's Indigo Whale. That poor lady's been waiting on her orange juice for so long. I think Kick-Ass did it well by having a passerby film him. Kick-Ass did it well, yeah. Why would superheroes make YouTube videos that could compromise their identity and location? That's what I think. That and I just think it's pandry shit. <laughs> Holy rolling through rando battles. Beep beep, well coming through. Uh, they get the memo messed on is where it's at. I mean, the, the site full of child porn? We can actually get a helmet. We're finally starting to get better equipment. Okay.
Me uh, pulling up my Regalia type F card. Remember in Watch Dogs 2, followers were literally your XP? Yeah, it, it was some dumb shit. Yeah, Peter would not use Twitter. That's not even in his character. Uh, I want superheroes to be confused and not know how to use social media, have them age in real time. That'd be fun. Fucking everyone's in limbs, so Jesus Christ. What game is this? Final Fantasy XIV. Peter would get banned off Twitter instantly. Symbia Peter uses 4chan. Specifically, Pole. Where he thinks it's edgy as fuck, and it's just kind of like, okay. Yeah, everyone uses it, though. And how long do you think the MCU will go on for? It's really starting to sputter out now. Like, people are tired. They're trying to stretch it out with the Disney Plus shows, but I don't think it has very long until it just completely runs out of ideas and they try to do a reboot or something. Uh, as annoying as she is, Screwball from Insomniac Spider-Man is a good example of doing it. Fame-hungry and using villainy to get famous online. Yeah, I can see that. As soon as Peter gets infected by the symbiote and post once it's over for his Twitter account. <laughs> yeah. Once again, checking to make sure... Uh... Where's such third people again for a dollar? Grow tired of atheism for the love of God. Just fuck off. You're not smart because you don't have religion. Uh, fierce apathetic black hue for a dollar. Betrayal of Sozin in the Korra comic where he outlaws gay marriage can be seen as discriminatory. Raised the question is why Sozin, who committed genocide against the air people in the original series, would display such discriminatory behavior. I think that's just funny. <laughs> uh, where's such a third people again for a dollar? The protagonist can rape a rapist or kill kids depending on the context. No. No. Uh, if you have your protag do the raping and he's not outright a bad guy, I think you just dip straight into edgy, jerking yourself off, darkness apathy shit. Uh, in Terminal, is Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt killed the kid. He didn't kill the kid, he threatened to kill them. There is a difference. Uh, where's Dr. 33 born again for a dollar? Varric is also cool. There's a joke that Cassandra, the night chick, loves his books. I thought that was cute, but reeks of Reddit humor. It really did. It kind of it kind of reeked a little bit of Reddit humor where she was like emotionally invested in begging him not to kill off a character. Like That was something where I'm like, eh. I don't really like games that have some uh, drops kind of Twitch inter integration. Like, watch someone play a game to get uh, drops to your game that you're not playing because you're watching someone else play. Like, okay, you can just AFK the stream, but still. That is something that I think is really gimmicky, and, like, it kind of feeds into fear of missing out shit, where now you have to follow, like, a bunch of people who stream the game because it's free marketing for the game. And it's like, eh, but maybe I don't want to follow them. Maybe I just want to play the fucking game. Alright, so now we go to Aleport. Have you heard of the movie Robo Geisha, made by the same director who made Tokyo Gore Police? Pure, dumb, B-movie fun. I'm sure you'll love it. I'll check it out. Isn't there a villain in the Spider-Man game who is an influence I've chased down? Yeah, uh, they already mentioned her before. I'm trying to remember, we're trying to get to her name again. Yeah, screwball. Thoughts on the Gwenpool comics? Eh, they weren't really for me. From what I understand, some people really liked them, but eh. Alright. And now... 
Should have been clear. Uh, I would like if Chris Pratt killed the kid, just finish his descent in insanity. And that's another where I'm perfectly fine with the way that scene went, where he was willing to do it, but he didn't do it. You know, sometimes you don't need to show them physically do it, just show they have the capacity. Uh, and that, to me, can, can sell it a hell of a lot more. Darkness apathy is a thing. It's, it's something to really watch out for, and a lot of people really like to indulge on, on edgy shit when they want to do a darker story. Darkness apathy is that threshold where people just stop giving a fuck, because you, you flooded it a little too much, and it's like, we get it, they have the biggest dick ever, they're so fucking cool. You know, it, it can make them resentful. So you, you, need to, you need to keep it within a common sense line, which, you know, is hard because a lot of people that talk about writing shit are autistic as fuck. It's just true. That's an EVA franchise. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I respect what it's done, and I respect how, what you know, what it represents for anime shit. It's just not really for me. Like, Crossed. Yeah, Crossed especially dips into that line of just flat out, like, holy fuck, can, like, anything else happen beyond this? Finally get a helmet. Alright, so now we go up there. Isn't the main character in Sicario kill ch uh, two children? No, the main character is Emily Blunt. Alejandro is there, but he's like a supporting character. And they make it clear he's not a good guy. <laughs> like, Alejandro is straight up a hitman. He has reasons for it. But they, they still paint him in very, obviously, a menacing and, and like, evil light. Because right after that, he threatens to murder Emily Blunt. In your opinion, what makes a good evil Superman uh, uh, type of character trope? I really like how they handle Omni-Man. You know, where it's, it's more than just evil Superman. He has an agenda of his own. You know... It's not just that he's power hungry, there's a goal he's working for, and, and I really like that. Yeah, he's on the hunt list, so may as well kill him. Uh, all I hear with the anime uh, at the moment is One Piece dickhead going on about Gear 5, where the fuck that is. Yeah, Luffy finally unlocked, like, basically his Super Saiyan. Or, like, his, his transformation form. And a lot of people think it's, like, really dumb. And it's like, oh, man, that's so fucking stupid. Because it basically turns him into the mask where he runs off cartoon logic. But it's like, One Piece has always been very, very blatantly inspired by, like, 1930s cartoons. Like, Popeye and shit like that. So it's hard to really get mad. It's like, yeah, no shit, Dan, the cartoon sound effects. They're trying to get it to your head. It's like Looney Tunes. Here's a pathetic black Q for dollars. That's on the little Tay drama. That's been a fucking emotional roller coaster. <laughs> Finding out that they may not, in fact, be dead, it's like, huh. There's more to Omni Man than Evil Superman. Exactly. But yeah, it came out that, like, like, okay, so everyone thought Lil Tay and, and her brother were dead because of fucking, uh, like a post on their Instagram or something. And then it's come out earlier today that, like, the brother is screaming, no, we're not dead. Our parents are trying to silence us. And then that went dead silent. So I have no idea what the fuck is happening. And it's like, man, this is a fucking roller coaster. We have, we have like a fucking spy thriller in the form of like, you know, white trash, you know, wig of shit. Have to get off the whale. I understand now. Damn it. Someone's mentioning me. I have whale. What the fuck? <laughs> I have whale. Is 
This is what I get for interacting with the fucking Fall Fantasy 14 community. You're trying to be. Someone's trying to groom us again. Fuck. Trying to make it clear. Please fuck off. Motherfucker, we are being stream sniped. Run. We need to go faster. Will is love, will is life. Alright. Fuck, someone killed all the corals. Ah. Uh, so I may as well wait. The weirdo has found you! <laughs> blitz, blitz! Ooh, ooh. Just talk to them. No. They'll try to give us stuff and help us. We don't need that. This is the road to 80. Road to 80. No help. No breaks. No boosts. Beyond the one they force you to have. My favorite thing about Gear 5 situation was OP fans saying it's more iconic than Super Saiyan and crying to people shit on it when the anime episode came out. Yeah. Please gotta hope some guy goes up to you like, hey, is that guy bothering you in a fake deep voice? Can't escape, he knows your name. <laughs> no breaks, no boost, no bitches. Lolly, please fix your HUD. The fucking monk's uh, chi will is being where uh, is triggering me. It's fine where it is, it's fine. I will fix the HUD when we get enough hotkeys to where I need to. For now, we're waiting on curl pups. That's what happens when you play as a bunny girl. It's worse than that. We got recognized. All he once again gets groomed by sex weirdos into bunny feet like Brucey. Bunny Casca ain't gonna uh, ain't gonna slut out for gear. And I respect that. Enjoy the road to eighty. Road to eighty. Road to eighty. All day, every day. Currently in Chechnya. I am I'm uh converting to Islam. You know, the the Holy Father. The righteous way, the holy light. There we go. So now we just go back and deliver everything. Fix the HUD, make the monk thing more centered, please. It's fine where it is. You don't need to read that quest description, it's just about orange juice. Blessed be the name of the prophet, mm-hmm. Hey, you wanna join my lolly RP server, 13 plus only? <laughs> you mean 13 under only, let's be real now. Uh, uh, fierce epithet black Q for dollar. Thoughts on Sozin being homophobic? Everyone in the chat is uh, Hosen as Sozin was op openly hated gays who wanted to uh, ban gay marriage in Fire Nation. I mean, if that's canon to Avatar: The Last Airbender, that is extremely funny. It's like the only reason the fucking like Fire King declares war on every other tribe is because he wanted to ban gay marriage. That's my official head cannon. You're not you can't take that away from me. Now the flames are powered by homophobia, that's why he was a god. The HUD will be fixed when the HUD is fixed. Alright. Now let's roll for loot. Even though it's probably gonna be shit. Okay. 
Mr. Sen, no! Which favorite Ethan Ralph rage pick moment that includes Ethan Ralph fails? The, sh the shit pants saga was funny because of how much that exploded into something it never needed to be. Yeah, we can't even use those. Matsulet. Bro, those hot bars. Kitten, please don't ride away. It will only be accepted by Lolly server. Please, kitten. No, fix the HUD. The monk thing should be in the dead center of the screen. No. Oh, he shed himself. Yeah. Uh, it was, um... He tried to pass it off as like a fart, but everyone kept noticing. It was like, I don't know, man. I think you shit yourself. And it would have just been a funny joke, you know, where they would have just ribbed on him. Uh, but he freaked the fuck out so bad. And like, it got to the point he was like threatening to dox people. And Rakeda was like, I don't know. I'm going to do like a, cr a, a criminal analysis of the video to, to see if you shit your pants or not. And it turned into a whole beef with Rakeda. It, it was fucking nuts. I didn't know people with mics try to join the party while breathing heavily to the bunny girl. <laughs> I'll give you I'll give you Tom gear if if you uh, send feet pics. Go to the bathroom, you shag yourself. Not yet. Well, he already said he did. No, he uh. He, like, denied it tooth and nail and would, like, fight people on it. He might have, he might have like, uh, fucking admitted to it later. But I know for a long time, he would, like, violently say he didn't. <laughs> Is that guy bothering you? What is with niggas and feet? They ain't even hot. Do a deep sniffing too. <laughs> Alright. Those gas sound a bit too real. Lolly has failed lungs. It is not true. Is everyone in this game a pred? I'm noticing we're we're running into it a lot. The kid from Hey Arnold who breathes heavily over uh, Helka. Didn't that kid just have like straight up asthma or something? Like there was a reason he breathed so hard. Trying to score, butthead. <laughs> Alright, so we have one. And we'll go ahead and attune the other one because we we might need to pop in and out of this one. I think we do come to this one more than a few times. I'll be honest, for fox girls over bunny girls, big fluffy tail is cute. That is true. Another day, another V buck. That was a really good Beavis. I think you meant Butthead. Butthead's the one that talks weird. I mean, Beavis talks weird too, but you know what I mean. Lolly, how much money would it take for you to fuck a pair of conjoined twins? Alright. Eh. Uh, Fierce Epithet Black Q for a dollar. Uh, it seems you're discussing the reason why Sozin's homophobic attitude, which is attributed to his sister being a lesbian and having a romantic relationship with a woman from the Air Nation. This, situ this situation may seem ludicrous and confusing. Is this, like, actually canon to Airbender? Because I don't know anything about the deep lore of Airbender. Because <laughs> if, if so, as stated, that'd be really funny. Uh, Fierce have to thank Black Q for dollar. What next? Abortion and gay adoption ban in Fire Nation 2? Yes. Unironically, yes. Sozin 2024. Uh, 
I bet at this point that uh, Viera hands and feet are correct and uh, are incorrect in FF14. They're supposed to be more beast-like. I'm actually, I actually prefer them having more human hands. When it does like the paw thing, that to me is like weird. In the comics, the Fire Lord is a homophobe. Oh my god, that's amazing. That is amazing in all the wrong ways. Make the Fire Nation great again! Make the Earth Kingdom burn again! It was added to canon from a Legend of Korra comic that so Sozin hated the gays. He was the worst, she says. <laughs> He was the strongest Fire Nation user. He, he was the strongest firebender because his his fire was fueled by homophobia. <laughs> he was the good guy all along. That's amazing. Pause, make it a little too furry for me. That's what I think. Can't wait to see Sozin on everyone's they had a point though villain list. <laughs> He's basically bootlegged for this guy. Wow, someone's gotta do something about this Sozin guy. <laughs> I know if you heard, but it sounded like a stroke or something about the Fire Lord had a gaze in Air Niggas. Yeah, like apparently it's an actual canonical thing that, uh. At, like, I guess a canonical thing that he fucking hates the gays. And that's just so funny to me. You mean to tell me he was our guy? He saw this timeline and tried to save us. <laughs> well, I mean, you look at how Korra acted in Legend of Korra, where she's like a massive fucking douche to people. It's like, you know what? I can understand Sozin's hatred. He knew what was coming and tried to stop it. Based Fire Nation. Sozin's voice by Ron Perlman is his old self, ironic as hell given his TDS. Hey, Donnie, I run a nation full of firebenders, and I'm burning the gays up. How do you like it, Donnie? The stink of burning gay flesh in your nose. I guess no bad guys here. Tell about the made Legend of Korra he made even more canon. Oh, God. Sosin was based and red-pilled. Uh, have you heard of You Will Die Here Tonight? Indie survival horror game looks to uh, take a stab at the RE Survivor Dead End gameplay. Honestly, not bad. Oh, so like a light gun? That'd, that'd be cool. That'd be interesting. Little Donnie Dum Dum ain't gonna recover. Burning gay smell fruity, Donnie. Uh, who's the crazy Dami mommy? She's basically homophobic Ruby firebender chick who's lightning. Uh, that was Zuko's sister, wasn't it? I think it was Azula. And yeah, she just like completely loses her fucking mind at the end. It was a gays were a common thing in the Fire Nation. Then Sozin became Fire Lord and told them stop being flaming homos and they had to be normal. <laughs> oh my god. This is canonical to a fucking children's show. <laughs> this is this is this is amazing. There's people who defend this. Azul becomes a cult leader and child kidnapper in season five comic. <laughs> Don, yes, moving around isometric, then combat's done in first person. Uh, like how Dead Aim had you move in third person and take aim in first. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of interesting. I might check that out. 
But would you, Anazula? I mean, I can be, I can just walk up to her and be like, you know what, your father makes some pretty good points. And just, you know, watch the show again and be like, listen, I know what the good guys are going to do. We can stop them. Azula's 14, by the way. You know, not if you, like, go by, like... Now, if you go about like after the show thing, or, or you know, it's been a few years and everyone's aged up, I can be like, listen, I can, I can, I, I can tell you where the main guys live right now, and he can kill their kids. I think she'd be up for it. All right. You must invent an anti-gay scenario for your gay character to rise up from. Only for Korra to not struggle with anything. Uh, the recon Kyoshi to be bisexual, then said Dai Li, the secret police she created, oppressed the gays. <laughs> they have no idea what the fuck they're doing it. You know, it's this thing where I feel like... Whenever they want to justify why they like a character that's straight or has a crush on somebody that's like an opposite sex, they just immediately de to default to, oh, they're pansexual or they're bisexual. Where, where it's literally just like, oh, well, they're not technically straight. They're just in a straight relationship right now. They're literally trying to, to justify why they like this. And it's like, oh, my God, it's fucking just sad. You're, you're going so far to, to, to justify why you like a fictional pairing. Yes, bootlegger man. I forgot what your quest line was. Yeah, in season 5 comic, turns out Zuko and Azula's mom is alive and she had her face changed the whole time. She was cucking Fire Lord Ozai with another guy. Oof. Oof. I mean, he was a psycho. So, like, he did burn his son's face. So it kind of makes sense where she's like, you know what, fuck this dude. Uh, Baron's all Z for dollar. The air people of the gayest society. It all makes sense. Also play Sonic Dreams Collection on stream. I also watch that ten much stream. Uh, fears up thick black cube for a dollar. If we talk about closeted family drama, Ozai really took the spotlight by roasting his father Sozan with a flamethrower. It was like he was saying, "Dad, your outdated beliefs just got a sizzling upgrade." We need to bring him back. We can save him. And the kicker, Ozai knew the whole time. Oof. Well, I mean, at that point, like, he probably just didn't give a shit about his wife. Where it's like, alright, see ya. Tumblr had catastrophic consequences in the media. It really did. The true Kyoshi is straight... They turned uh, Kyoshi into a straight up dictator. Yeah. From what I understand, a lot of the, the stuff post the actual cartoon is just straight up flanderization. I dubbed thee vague sexual. Fuck you. There we go. Those I really didn't care, he's just like, pff, whatever, okay. Yeah. And I stayed, he was a psycho, so it would make, it, it would make sense. Where it's like, holy fuck, this guy is, like, completely insane. Now, if the wife was still living with him, that's just playing with fire. You know, pun intended. But if she flat out ran off and was like, fuck this, I'm gonna try to get the hell out of Dodge before I die. Makes sense. The fact she never tried to help her kids is, like, a little shitty, but... It could have also been a thing if she's like, hey, the kids are so drunk off the Kool-Aid, it's probably too late for them. I mean, Zuko's redemption arc was 100% because, uh, Uncle Iroh fucking saved his ass. They shat on previous avatars just by Korra being a moron. They really did. Where it's like, well, they all had something to overcome. It's like, yeah, but they were interesting to overcome. Korra was just, like, shit. And they excuse her acting so fucking shitty in the earlier seasons. 
by by like quote unquote fixing her in the later ones. Well, it's like, see, she had her development. It's like, no, they just patched the fucking story. You know, it's like the core shit's all fucking dumb. That was kind of the biggest example of like this show is not made to entertain a family. This show is made to entertain like forty year old man children. Well, uh, we're in quite the pickle here. Adrian, five dollars. Oza uh, was gonna kill Zuko, but she killed the current Fire Lord and was banished. Yeah. Fire Nation guy saw his son cross dress once for a guy on Discord, so burned his face. <laughs> killed all the previous avatar spirits. Yeah, it was something weird like that. I don't know the most about this shit. As stated, I watched through Avatar Life's Airbender once, and then I watched... I watched, like, a season or two of Korra. Uh, I think... I don't even think... I don't even think I finished it. Uh, but if you want someone that, like, actually knows the lore inside and out, watch, like, ER. That dude fucking studies that shit. I was like, man, this dropped off, not into it, and, and fucking, like, watch something else. Uh, Zuko tried on his mother's eyeliner so the fire lord purified his face. Thing is, I don't even know if, like, you're referencing something that actually happened in the comics. Because I didn't read them. Or if you're just shitposting. The fact I genuinely don't know makes it worse. Ugh. Uh, Uncle Iroh, their time in the Earth Kingdom, Zuko being trapped in the Crystal Cage of Katara. Honestly, the original series is God tier and frankly Maron kid content pales. I mean, it was basically just an anime. Now it's just shitposting. I don't believe you at this point. I really hate the fact Korra skipped too far into the future, like Avatar was a fantasy world, but Korra was too close to our time, they had fucking hot rocks for fuck's sake. I'm okay with moving stuff like that, because, I mean, so long as they, yeah, show kind of like a, how the bending mythos affects, like, technological development. Because it would have been cool to kind of see, like, a, like a, a Final Fantasy-style Magitek that relied on, like, the, the bending shit, that would have been neat. But yeah, they kind of dipped, they, they dipped into being lazy and just threw them into, like, modern-looking cities. And it's like, eh. Uh, the moment Korra technically permanently killed Avatar, Roku, she became the worst character ever of all time. Like I said, I, I don't remember a lot of what I watched, but I just remember it being very mid. I was just kind of like, eh. I was watching actual anime, you know? Like, I'll, I'll sit down and watch, like, fucking... If I want to watch, like, a battle thing, I'll watch, like, fucking Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't even care for it that much, but fuck it. You know, Hunter Hunter, fucking, uh, Hajime no Ippo, something like that. I find it funny how now you have people going back and calling the original series racist and culture appropriation of Asian cultures. It was literally a fucking tribute to Asian cultures. It's like, people who are saying that, it's like, okay, you are just aggressively trying to grift. And people need to knock off the whole, like, well, they're just trying to, you know, share their critique. It's like, no, they're fucking rage baiting and grifting. It's like, stop being a fucking bitch and call these people out for what they are. Uh, Aang should have killed the Fire Lord to drive in home that his avatar is not really a part of any one nation. Well, Aang's whole thing is he didn't want to kill anybody. It was, it was kind of like an Edward Elric thing, where it's like, hey, I don't want to kill anybody. So it made sense enough. But it's not okay if we're not the ones doing it. Yeah, shit like that. I'm Asian. I give Avatar the Last Airbender Asian pass. There you go. Official and spoken and true. 
Do you know how many times us fucking Germans have to give the Japanese the Germanic folklore pass for them to fucking do their fantasy worlds? It's fucking nuts. Here's how to thank Black Q for a dollar. Uh, if Ozen came down closet to his father, so uh, so Ozen he get burned with a flamethrower. Uh, here's how to thank Black Q for a dollar. Even though Air Nomads were doing in numbers, uh, Aang's daughter Kia still managed to break the mold and fly her rainbow flag high. Talk about defying extinction with fabulous twist. Yeah, that's the thing. If you're establishing that, like, a nation has a really low population, making every and every character gay kind of, uh, pisses in the face of that, because it's like, okay, so it's a self-inflicted problem. I'm Asian and I don't give Legend of Korra the pass. <laughs> they made a fucking mech for metal benders. But lolly, it's not Germany set in Gerlin. No one cares what you crowds have to say. <laughs> you know what, fair enough. But eventually we'll work off that World War II debt and then you'll all fucking bow. Kinda have to fuck though, exactly. Ang had to deal with a psycho bitch that can bloodbend him, a psycho bitch that can burn him, and a blind bitch that breaks his pelvis. No wonder he was a great avatar. <laughs> Do you play to hunt the showdown? Bits and pieces, but I, I like what I play. It's it's fun skulking through bushes and then like tapping someone in the back of the head and stealing their shit. Cause I like that it's not like Tarkov where where the ability to get sniped from across the map is not as extensive as in that game. Also, Tarkov, I run into, like, fucking network issue after network issue. It's bullshit. Let's do it. You're American. The fuck you mean German? I have German ancestry. Uh, Katar can bloodbend. Do you think she did to force Aang to have boners? Eh. Uh, Jimbug, uh, for a dollar. Uh, did I already said this, but a lot of all account are appearing on my feed and you don't follow some people, just me or is everyone just talking about lolly and more and more now? Uh... Mute some words like mute like anti or like you know just directly lolly shit like that yeah because it, it can be really fucking annoying how Twitter's algorithm works where you scroll past somebody and you like click on their tweet once and then boom you're seeing them again and again and again also just kind of promotes people fighting each other and it's annoying boy. Uh, and it's amazing in Legend of Korra, they made a great point why fashion was great, not kidding. I have no idea what that show's even fucking doing anymore. Or did, I, I don't know. I'm Mexican, I am okay with Japan using German culture. <laughs> there you go. A lot of people really like fucking Saga of Tommy the Evil, so there you go. Uh, you can turn on uh, option in your system settings to skip cutscenes I've already seen. Yeah, but you guys might not have seen them, and that's the important part. Alright. Fuck up the bugs! Let's get German to prove it. Okay. Uh... Trying to think of like a German phrase. Uh, 99 Luftballon. There you go. Fuck you. Auf die Heide blüht ein kleines Blumenland. There you go. My my attempt at approximation. Ooh. I have two pack-a-punch guns, it's time to fuck. Wiener Schnitzel. Uh, 
They said fascism is good, like goose stepping in the gas during fascism. And I assume it's like they probably had like a plot line or something where the government was being very abusive or like really overshadowing. And they'd be like, oh no, but greater good though. I don't know. I don't have any fucking context to what they're talking about. Panzerkopfwagen uh, Schadenfreude. Ich bin ein Berliner. <laughs> Guys, what do you have against trans readings on media? Who cares if they have their interpretation threatening creators for validation? Yeah. It's like, guys, it's just their interpretation. Just ignore the fact that, you know, they're, they're threatening to kill their families if they don't agree with it. What part of Germany is your family from? Uh, technically, it's more of, like, Russia area. But, yeah, basically still Germany. I kind of count it. They all got wrapped up in the same fucking country anyway. Abysmal pronunciation. Hitler would not be pleased. Hitler, STG, 44, Panza, uh... Das Kuhn, uh, Yahula, Nin, Homosexuality, Euro. Have you uh, watched the original Red Sonja movie? I've not. I've never seen Red Sonja. Any German sing chat? Let me ch uh, let's even it up with some Russian and Japanese. Kami? I don't know. Post Iron Curtain. Yeah, basically. Stasi pigs. Always part Slav. I mean, like, technically, I still count it as German. It explains why I like Slav drinks, so. so I got a little bit of that, you know, a little bit of that ancestry. ancestry. I like I like the Witcher soundtrack, you know. Kubelwagen. Moonfire, uh, Flare, Sand, you know, Sentai Glam, oh yes. Yeah, they have like a common Rider thing. Like East Prussia or around Berlin? I don't fucking know. I'd have to look into it. All I know is it's like Prussia. So I assume maybe... Maybe around Berlin, that would make sense. Lolly Slob Germ. Yeah, that'd probably be a good way to look at it. You're literally subhuman. Well, you're a Slob if you're ashamed of the Lolly. Now go to Stalag now. You got wrapped up into Germany anyway. Russians are Germanic. A lot of Poles are Germanic in the east, uh, western area of Poland. Yeah, stay. That's why, like, I just always kind of assumed it was, you know, basically just Germany. What do you think? Tired argument? Just because certain media is for kids, just by dumped down like four Teen Titans or New Team and T. It makes sense in some cases, whereas like the Mario movie, of course, that'd just be for kids. But like I said, we we have that thing going around where no, it's not made for any family whatsoever. It is made for a forty-year-old man-child. There is a difference. You're, a, you're the product of a rape from Berlin. Well, East Prussia is now owned by Poland. Yeah, I think it, it, it would have to be closer to uh, Berlin then, because you know technically my family is Germanic. Russia gave birth to uh, Germany, technically. Exactly. Like, I don't know the full extent of my family history. I'd have to look into it. But, yeah. Supposedly, there's some, some interesting stuff to, to look into if, you know, if uh, talking with some relatives it points at it. Your traitor is supposed to be American and have apple pie. I mean, I also have a whole bunch of like redneck Scots Irish, so I count that too. Don't put your DNA into a database. It kind of already is because I worked for the government at some point. I say the government, but it was like, you know, it, it, it was like working in a government facility, I guess. If that's even the right way to put it. I worked in a government nursing home there. Same with Austria and Hungary, that bond's still strong if it was been 500 years. Yeah, there you go. You're Irish? Scots Irish. Appalachia as fuck on one side of my family. So Germans who came in in the 1800s. Yeah, that's, you know, very good way to look at it. I think that actually is how they, they came into America.
Government nursing home, so Congress? Uh, is for kids, but we need a full gay lesbian relationship to satisfy some adults on the internet. Exactly, like kids don't give a shit. They don't give a shit, and they not they're not even watching it. A lot of them are watching shit on YouTube. Uh, so part Texan, uh, two lot of Germans came here. All Americans are descended from the Mayflower. They're running for president. Yeah, there you go. Listen, not all Middle America is full of German. A lot of Amish and German. Yeah, because that's where they uh, they like to settle. German and Slavic ancestry. Yeah. And Scots Irish. So yeah, it's like a guy put up. Kind of like a. We're, we're kind of mutts. We're, we're a mix of all sorts of stuff. I'm Cajun with Mexicana, Pennsylvania, Dutch. Yeah. Interesting little, interesting little, uh, you know, combinations that are out there. It's, it's fun stuff. They're like half of every type of white guy in one. Yeah, there you go. And that 374 dropping? I don't know. Oh, we're going backwards. Are you a Mongol as well? I don't think so. I don't think I have any... I don't think we have any step in our in our ancestry. Once again, that'd be something I'd, I'd have to, like, directly look into. Are you a Hatfield or a McCoy? Both. Like, not even kidding. Both. <laughs> After that whole spat, they became so interbred that it's like, it, it wasn't even funny. I'm Mexican and Italian, so you aren't that weird. Not even lying, uh, there was a guy I used to work with in the fucking real estate office. Uh, he left because, like, he, he has his own church group and shit. Uh, Italian guy married to a Mexican lady. <laughs> you are you are not alone there, my my friend. Are you above fifty percent white? I'd say so. You're an amalgamation. I got Hispanic and Asian blood. Family went from Argentina to Mexico at one point in time. I actually knew a guy that was that was kind of similar, and he always referred to himself as Spicy Rice. And I always thought that was funny. Not too sure about my ancestry, but there's Russian in there. Ah. Italian and Mexican got be some bomb ass food, goddamn. Oh yeah. Fucking insane good cook. Wife was super nice, dude. She was just a really nice lady. They're just good people. And when and like when I say Italian, I mean like motherfucker was literally Mario. He was short, fat, had a mustache, like it was nuts. Uh, fun fact, the old Sonic cartoons call it socialism and communism and the problems with it. Some cartoons are more based than, than, than we give them credit for. And it's like, yes, this is a horrible fucking ideology that bad people sign up for. Remember Lolly, if a Mexican guy calls you a paisa, you're, you're Mexican now. Oh god. Poison coral. Uh, got mostly Italian, some German, dash of Italy, uh, dash of Irish, got a pinch of English, uh, and Native American. I also think of Italian, best Scottish, but check how super white am I. I don't know. 
pens are, are considered, you know, are Irish and Italians considered white today? Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. And give me a sec. Do, do, do. Uh, fierce apathetic black cube for a dollar when Cora bravely came out to her parents alongside Asami. Her father's request to keep it quiet backfired, accusing her parents of homophobia. Uh, Cora drove away, fueled by frustration. Is that an actual thing that happened? Because once again, it's like, I don't know anything about Cora post the bits and pieces I sort of remember. Uh, the man was literally Mario Fat, short, hairy, and really good with plumbing and being an extortionist. He wasn't a plumber, but like, yeah. I do have a ton of Germanic folk on my father's side of the family because you know Argentina. Yeah. Some of them might have very interesting histories from the 40s. It is. It actually did. Oh, my God. MLP had an anti-communism episode, the tyrannical dictator that takes away all their powers and gives them the same shitty uh, cutie marks that all the ponies hated. What the fuck is going on with that series? That's one where, like, man, that's a fucking rabbit hole and a half. I got car bomb amounts of Irish DNA in me. North or south, though, that's an important question. Dude. Grandpa from 40s Argentina. Hmm. Tranny Marxists love MLP. Este, that, that's one where, like, I know bits and pieces about how it started. And, because, like, there's some there's some dudes in the Discord that claim that they were actually there when a lot of that shit kicked off and were, like, quote unquote, originals. And, and they were straight up, like, yeah, it became something it never was intended to be. From, from what they told me, this is what, this is the abridged half-remembered history of, of what guys in the Discord were telling me. It started off as literally just a way to fuck with the mods on 4chan. Where we're like, you know, they they were fucking with the mods. Uh, it was a show that they all got dragged into watching with their little sisters and shit like that. And it just pissed the, pissed the mods off to post about it. And then the Tumblrites took it and just ran with it and turned it into something it never was supposed to be. That's at least from, from what I'm told. I have no idea if that's true or not. I mean, some of them I know, like, would unironically watch it. Like, my sister used to watch it, but, you know, I never fucking paid attention to that shit. I was watching anime. Where, like... You know, it also had, like, weird, cutesy, bright color shit for autistics, but at least I can argue some people get shot in the head. <laughs> and the Kami horse was just thirsting for unicorn cock. What the fuck is going on in that series? Is this why Christian was so obsessed with it? Why does everything lead back to fucking 4chan? I mean, the undisputed history is it did start on 4chan. It's just the context around that. That's it. It's a fucking weird rabbit hole. Fuck you, mushrooms. Get away from me. State-funded autism. There you go. I won my battle against my autism. You know, greatest scholar of our time and, and professional motherfucker, Chris. Your 4chan user? Everyone was at some point. Like, you're a fucking liar if at the very least you didn't check out V. Now, if you start dipping into, like, D, 
That's where it's like, okay, you're you're winning way too fucking deep. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Modern B is also pretty bad. I watched the episode with my niece and went, yep, this children's cartoon never understood people that said it's also for adults. Yeah, I'm last day. I think it, I, I think that was also the, the protozoa to it's made for man children more than actual children. I say protozoa because from my understanding, it still basically was just the kids. It's just, you know, we all know what happened. B is just a porn board. Yeah, basically this. D users do not pull out. He has moss scroll threads, the rest you. <laughs> I avoid anything that isn't a general. Yeah, there you go. Very, very safe. Safe, safe road to go. Someone told Chris he was a motherfucker and he took it literally. <laughs> there you go. If you find yourself in R9K, you've gone too far. Well, it's if if you're on R9K and you start looking up thigh high socks and shotguns, that's when you know you're too far. That's an in-depth reference. Man, children watching Bluey is cringe. You niggas don't even have kids. Darkness. I still play on VM sessions for less multiplayer games. Yeah. What is modern D? Uh, <laughs> you don't want to know. To be honest, why do you use the porn boards? That's a good question. Why would you? K used to be fun. Now K's just full of fucking feds. It's all people going like, Hey, don't you want to send me ammo through the mail? Which is a federal crime. I want to know. No, you don't. I am Lahabrea of the Asians, servant to the If you want to know, God. just go to 4chan and go to D. Learn the hard way. Yours is a most fantastical tale. I honestly believe millennials Truly and zoomers so watching Bluey just them wishing they had better parents. That's kind of what I think. Like people it get locked into to wanting to be a kid again, so they they watch the shit, hoping to like reignite the spark, or they've emotionally God. never gotten past being a kid. I think that's why I don't get it, because uh, I fucking hated my childhood. It's not like I had a bad one, it's just the fact of I hated being a kid. I hated not being able to do stuff. I, I, I literally like talk about it with people like, my life began after uh, after I got out of high school. That's when things actually were like good, and I felt like I could actually build on, build on shit and earn money. You can send ammo, but not with U yeah, USPS or to a P.O. box. Yeah, it's something like that. Alas, like all good tales, it must needs come to an end. But fear not. That are constant threats by Ukraine war that go nowhere. Yeah. Two more weeks, Russia's gonna break through those lines, guys. Two more weeks. Here, feel the presence of evil. For the end of your tale is but the beginning of another. The tale of the crystal's demise. I never really started living to him after I moved out. Yeah, you know, it's like... Uh, it's why I don't get the people that, are, that that fetishize being in high school so much. Like, I thought being in high school was fucking boring and a waste of time. Like, all I did was stumble around through different classes I didn't give a fuck about, and I didn't really learn anything. And I kind of resent that. Now, granted, some of it was just me being a dumbass, because... I'm actually kind of kicking myself I never took uh, AV, you know, audio-visual. Because I feel like, you know, the me now would absolutely, like, fucking jump at the chance to do that shit. But, you know, as a kid, you don't know what the fuck you want to do. Honestly, the results weren't that interesting. I mostly got socks and a few shotgun accessories. <laughs> you must build Chakra. Ugh. Not 
rely on the same way, right? It's like it, it's it's not that like I'm I'm depressed, rested. I hated my childhood. You know, I had, I had tons of fun stuff I did as a kid. It's the fact that like I didn't like feeling so limited. Like you couldn't drive anywhere, you couldn't make money, uh, you couldn't do this and do that. I mean, everyone says like, oh, well, kid, you can open a lemonade stand. Actual reality setting that up. You have to rely on everything from your parents. It's a pain in the fucking ass. Me being able to just wake up one day and be like, I'm gonna make a YouTube video and and, and stream and, and make money off that. That's fucking cool. You know, the, the freedom you get as an adult to me is just a million times better. Yeah, don't look up what D is. It's all the weird fetishes. I say that, but like, it, it is kind of funny. <laughs> it is kind of funny where like, uh, Trying to, I'm trying to find the best way to word this, but like, there are wars on on D, where people are arguing on like what actually is considered weird and belongs there versus what's actually vanilla, and and like some of the out of context stuff about that is genuinely pretty fucking funny. Like, shameless perverts can be some of the most like, either wise or brain dead people on the planet, and the when they clash like that, it be, it gets really fucking funny. What's wrong with thigh high socks? <laughs> yeah, the culture of being a child forever is fucking weird. I don't get it. It's like, I get it. Being an adult and having responsibilities, you know, sucks and it's hard, but... You know, at the very least, at the very fucking least, you feel like you accomplished something. You know, there, there really is, like, a, a sense of pride and, like, you're making payments on a car you have. And it's like, hey, this is mine. And and you, you do feel sort of like protective of it. it it's interesting. I got fucked over by different classes that wasn't part of my game development. Imagine my reaction when he said my, my uh, he got a class in game development. Yeah. Why the fuck do you know a lot about D? Are you the shooter that's paying food and shit on my Monster Girl Thread Lobby? <laughs> but see what I mean? It, it, is, it is the epitome of like fucking weird chaos. Went on D and was greeted with food on cock for. Yeah, there you go. It's a board you don't go to. But man, it has like some of the weirdest shit you'll ever stumble into, stumble into, and it's funny as fuck. Like people in the people who are into like fucking pregnant chicks are like genuinely offended that they have to post on D, and they're like, man, like you know, all, all our threads being drowned up by like fifty different diaper threads. It's fucking bullshit. It's like, I don't know why, but that just makes me laugh so hard. It's like, there there is etiquette with, with people shitposting their fetishes. It is the weirdest shit on the planet. Like, you thought you thought out-of-context Twitter conversations were weird. Aeromorphs is hilarious. And finding out that, like, yeah, shocker, the people who are into that are fucking pilots. It's like, what the fuck? Remember when Bible Black shotgun ass rape was the worst thing on D? <laughs> I got yelled at by police for making black jokes. Why is that cabbage so caked up? Every board is a nation. That is true. And D is kind of like Cambodia. Pol is America. V is like Korea. Because everyone's, like, super fucking elitist. K is, uh... You know what? Wild card. Wild card. K is, like, uh, Mexico. Somehow everyone knows me from school despite never talking to any of these people. Like, I sat in the corner. Who the fuck are you? I run into that sometimes. Why Cambodia? Because, uh, you go there for reasons that are very shameful. No one goes there to explore the culture. North or South Korea? I'd say South. <laughs> I don't want to fetish shame, but dude, what the fuck? Vor Aeromorphs? Yeah. <laughs> that is real shit people jerk off to.
Okay, is Ukraine nowadays? So many NATO and Ukraine threads! Why Mexico? Because it's just fucking chaos. You mean Thailand? Whatever Southeast Asian country is the sleaziest. Go to Cambodia to shoot an RPG or fucking orangutan. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so we already cleared the dungeon. I think we cleared two dungeons, because, uh... VT is Japan? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty safe. Everyone's bitching about fucking Hollow Live girls and, like, you know, stalking them, trying to figure out they have boyfriends and who they need to kill. Uh, I thought that was Vietnam. <laughs> why is Overwatch 2 on Steam? And why does it have 11k negative reviews? Because Blizzard. Because Blizzard. Because they literally canceled the fucking single player, which was the only reason they were making Overwatch 2. You know, some Japanese bits and fucking pieces. I don't know a lot about foreign languages. Yeah, Blizzard gave up. Yeah. Alright, so go back to our, our fucking bar here. I don't even think he gives us anything good. Yeah, nah. Oh, new boots. Plus, I think those uh, will let us level up, so... That's no living chaos IRL lol. Yeah. Blizzard is putting out PvE mode for 15 bucks, just TF2's Maverick's machines. Yeah, that's fucking bullshit. Between this and the Diablo 4 stuff, it's like I'm amazed people keep letting them I'm amazed people keep giving them chances. Where it's like, man. They, they will never actually there's no reason for them to ever learn from their mistakes because you reward them for each and every one. Alright. And new boots. Fuck yeah. And... Not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna call it here. Because uh, it's like 2 in the morning here and I kind of want to get like normal, actual sleep. You know, instead of like fucking exhausted sleep so after after this little cutscene here I think I'm gonna log out uh, we went about yeah like three hours it's not too bad not too bad that's in Red Dead, uh, Red Dead Redemption port yeah that's bullshit it's Rockstar being fucking sleazy and shady and and wanting to milk money out of people even though fucking GTA Online makes god know how much money just got here yeah I did stream twice this week already, and we have the stream on Saturday. There's, there's going to be plenty. There's going to be plenty, I swear to God. Uh, so if you buy Bear Creek Arsenal, they will not give your uh, info to FFL, and your uh, FFL have to call sales to get customer service, by the way. Back my ass off. My FSL had it for a month. Oh, wow. If you like shipping so much, join the Navy. That's on Lolte situation. It has had a, a twist worthy of a Spanish soap opera. It, it is amazing. But yeah, yeah. Uh, eh. Oh, damn it. Fuck. There we go. I'm going to make sure I'm caught up on everything. What game, what game are you playing in the weekend? 
Uh, the goal is Sekiro, because I've been going through Sekiro again. I'm loving the... I, I've been playing the shit out of it. Because, like, I, I do want to explain the the thing that trips people up about it. Because it once you, once you realize how the game's combat actually works, it gets a lot easier, and you're able to, like, steamroll through shit. And once you get past a certain point where, where you start stacking up upgrades, uh, it just gets easier and easier and easier. So, that that's the goal. Also because, like, Armor Core comes out in, like, fucking two weeks. So, from soft game to, to celebrate that, yeah, that, that would just fit. Well, I streamed this time, this, uh, three times this week, because we did Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, which, you know, that was fun. Uh, and then, uh, we played Final Fantasy, and then we're gonna have the stream on Saturday. 60 FPS Sekiro on PS5 is so good. It is a lot of fun. Who's Carl in your friend group? Uh, that'd probably be Shota. He has a lot of that chaotic energy that Carl has. Prepare for all the where, where I can't parry comments. Yeah. I heard the parry is like a rhythm game, essentially. Okay, there, there is an... There is a way the parry works that trips a lot of people up. Um, basically, you know how in Resident Evil 4 Remake, when Leon pulls out his knife, you have to factor in him literally physically pulling the knife out and, 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 and holding it up in order for the parry? Sekiro is like that, but the entire window of Leon pulling his knife out and getting it at the ready is the parry window. You actually have like a really long window of when you begin the parry, and uh, when the attack actually comes at you. That's why uh, enemies have very big telegraphs. Uh, they can do feints and stuff like that. Because once that window is up for the parry, um, you're fucked. And, and you don't have enough time to readjust. Because once the actual attack hits, it's fast as fuck. That's why the attacks are fast. It's the wind-up that's slow. Because it's trying to get you prepared for that. And it's a thing where once you factor that in, in Sekiro... You can still get your ass beat, because it's, yeah, you, you have to just get used to different patterns, and some enemies, their entire gimmick is specifically, their patterns are weird and hard to remember. Uh, the ninja dudes are, are really fucking hard. Uh, in, in New Game Plus, you can make the game harder by taking damage on block, but no damage on parry. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't really like that, because at that point, it's like, why would you even block? Well, okay, I know what you mean, it's like... You don't get damaged on parry, but you get fucked up on blocks. So yeah, that, that makes sense. It took me a bit to understand what you're talking about. Uh, I just suck at parrying in general. As stated, when when you when you realize what I'm talking about, it does get easier. Um, it's the entire you're literally pulling out your sword and getting ready to parry. That is your window to parry. And that's why it's actually got a pretty generous window, especially compared to Dark Souls. Will you stream Ninja Gaiden? That would be fun. You have to parry to not take damage. Yeah, yeah. And I would say Ninja Gaiden is like unironically harder. Because the Ninja Gaiden will just flat out try to fuck you. Those motherfuckers hang on kites just kamikaze your ass, scare the shit out of me. They're funny. I always thought, I always think they're the funniest thing on the world. Alright. So we are going to exit the game. And I'm going to swap over. So. Let's see here. Get some pings. Uh, just some, some stuff on Discord. You know, the, the usuals. Yeah, yeah, ain't, ain't nothing too important. All right, all right. So there you go, another another fun Final Fantasy fourteen stream. We finally unlocked our our fucking um, our, our job. We're finally a monk. You know, we we still got a ways before we're anywhere close to end game though. <laughs> that's kind of thing a Realm Reborn likes to drag. But once we get to Heaven's Ward, oh, that's gonna be so fucking good. So fucking good. But yeah, nice, 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 quiet stream. Nice, quiet, you know, enjoyable stream. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are offering Project Wingman. I, I do want to check that out. I do like Ace Combat a lot, and it's supposed to be in the same vein. So I think that'd be a lot of fun. 
I wish shotgun rape wasn't a thing. Are you talking about in uh in Sekiro? Because yeah, that that does get annoying. I fully admit there there's some enemies in Sekiro that are just flat out bullshit. Like they they are designed to piss you off. Uh, a lot of the gunners like to do that, especially with the way they place them when they're all over the point. They're all over the place and they cover each other. It's like yeah, that can be kind of annoying. Uh, any enemy that throws out terror, they're they're fucking annoying. The dudes who grab you and stab the shit out of you and take you half your health, they're annoying. But the whole point is you you learn how to react to them and, and know how to adjust. And it does genuinely get easier the more you play it, which sounds very, very obvious. But you you really don't appreciate it until you're able to get through a boss that you were having trouble with before uh, and manage to hit them without dying once. Like, um, uh, just recently on this playthrough... I killed Madam Butterfly, and it literally, like, clicked with me out of nowhere that I killed her in a single try without dying once, and I didn't even need to re to revive at any point. And I, w I literally just kind of sat back and went like, huh. <laughs> now, Genichiro uh, kind of fucked me up, and that's just because I would I would always forget that he does the attack you can Makiri counter, and that would fuck me up, and that would throw me off. But once I remembered I could do the Makiri counter, boom, 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 can get him in, like, less than 10, less than, like, five minutes. It is one of those where it is, once you put time into it and as stated, it's a game where you are reacting to everything they do, uh, and you're not really trying to be aggressive. Or The reason I keep saying over and over again, stop playing it like Dark Souls, is because that's what trips people up and gets them to die over and over and over again. Uh, you are not there to play it like Dark Souls. Uh, you are there to parry, 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 and nickel and dime the enemy's health to then break their posture. Because once their posture's broken, you get the insta-kill. Um, everyone wants to play it like Dark Souls, where it's about whittling away a health bar and trading blows. Uh, and, and, like, trying to dodge out of the way the enemy. And that's not how Sekiro's at all. You know, you're you're supposed to follow the pattern of their attack and and follow it to the fucking T. They do the, the, the flurry where they want to hit you over and over again. You know, mash fucking uh, parry over and over again to block everything. They do the big sweep attack. You jump up in the air and swipe at them. There are specific formulas for each enemy, and that's why I say don't try to cheese them. A lot of people want to cheese the, the bosses in Sekiro, and I think that just outright makes it less fun. There are specific formulas that you're supposed to do. Uh, there are certain enemies where the the actual thing you're supposed to do is more complicated than just straight-up fight. Uh, Corrupted Monk, uh, it's a pain in the ass unless you have Snap Seeds. You have Snap Seeds, boom, you can take out half their health right there, and then the fight is a million times easier. But each enemy is kind of a puzzle you have to figure out, and I think that's really fun. Favorite Metal Aqualab song? That's hard. I like Mermaid or 2. Specifically 2. For some reason, I like that one a lot. Sifu had the health, health posture mechanic too. It's great. Check it out. We did, and Sifu is fun. Uh, I don't think it's as good as, as Sekiro, but I, I liked it a lot from what I played. Yeah, the posture bar is the true health bar. That is the way to look at it. Uh, posture bar is the actual health bar. The health bar is what you whittle down to make it easier to build up posture. You're playing a Japanese uh, man. Have some honor. Yeah. And, and it is great. It is great. Uh, Musta. Crackish. Musta. Crackish. Yeah, I like that one too. That one's really good. But yeah. Um... I really, really like Sekiro. There's a lot in Sekiro I'd love to talk about and 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 show you guys because I don't know if it'd be a case of like we, we talk so much shit and act like experts and we get our asses beat. But this recent playthrough, like I, I'm going through it and I'm, I'm discovering shit I never did on previous playthroughs. I'm getting a lot farther, a lot faster than before. And it's like, man, you know, I, I, I'm feeling all proud of myself. You know, yeah, there's bosses that give me trouble, but it's a funny thing where you can get over-leveled and just outright stomp bosses that would never give you problems before. The combo system's rock, paper, scissors. That's a very good way to look at it, yeah. Where it's like they do the sweep attack, jump up. They do the, the thrust, do the McCurry counter. Some of the upgrades and skills you outright need for certain enemies. Uh, that one where you can like jump in the air and do the, the airborne death blow, you need that for the headless. And you need that for certain bosses. Uh, you also need, um, there, there's some ninjutsu tools that flat out, once again, are just answers to bosses. Um, fucking, uh, the, the, the guardian ape, 
The Guardian Ape, it's a million times easier if you already have the Mortal Blade and you have the Spear. The Spear makes it a lot easier. Kuro is very adorable. He, he's a very good boy. And I love Wolf. I mean, Wolf is just fucking cool. You know, he, he's that kind of... Pro, he, he's that protagonist I like where he's so matter-of-fact and blunt about everything. Like, Genichiro is the guy that took his fucking arm off and he just he just looks at him and he looks at Koro and goes, "I'll be I'll I'll be with you in a moment, Master. This won't take any, this won't take any time at all." And just unsheathes his sword. It's like, oh man, that's fucking awesome. I I love I love Wolf. He's so cool. Why are so many internet personalities grifters and how not to get grifter? Don't don't focus only on the money. You gotta have some love of the craft. Firecrackers. Firecrackers are straight up answers to some bosses. Like, they'll even outright tell you to get them. Like, man, this thing really doesn't react well to bright lights and loud noises. Firecrackers. I can't enjoy weeb games drunk and thoughtless. Because Sekiro is not made to be drunk and thoughtless. You're supposed to actually think, and it's fun. Honestly, I would have loved if I could have used the hatchet more on bosses. The animation was so cool. It is, but those are more of, like, just jobber dudes. Like, with the shields or the hats, you know, stuff like that. No lolly, Bible black shotgun rape. Okay. Wolf is boring and so is the story. I disagree. Crack, firecrackers are cracked. Eh. They're useful, but I never really thought of them as OP. Horse and the Rage Demon in particular. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those are just, yeah. He also has kind of a more interesting pattern where it's like, he's one of those where you're kind of supposed to like mainly use the grappling hook. And then do the jump attacks and just kind of swipe at him again and again until his health bar gets low enough to where he can just build the fuck up of posture. I went on V and apparently Lollipop Chainsaw is coming back. It's so titled Repop. Yeah. And they showed off uh, like an image of the remake and it looks exactly the same as the original. So could be really good. Maybe they'll add in some stuff that got cut. That'd be awesome. Horse Tube was actually fun. A lot of the bosses are genuinely fun. And that's why I keep saying like, don't don't view it as a game of frustration and Dark Souls where where you're you're doing everything you can to not have fun. It's like no, you're Sekiro. It's at its best if you are if you are playing with the game with its rules and you're only slightly deviating at times because the combat system is super fleshed out. It is like the best combat system from Soft has made, and it's fucking great. Like when when you're able to like clear through a mob of enemies and just one after the other you're doing death blows it feels like it feels like shit you would you would see in a trailer it's fucking amazing favorite boss fight that's hard there's some good ones uh i love the genichiro fight just because i love the build up to it where i stated wolf just just tells him to his face you won't even take a moment you know that that shit uh it's so fucking killer and when you actually get to the lightning phase and you're able to deflect lightning at him, that's just always fun to pull off. It's so good. All right. Talk about Armor Core or Sekiro? Armor Core is going to be its own conversation. That's going to be great. But with this, I think it's time to call it. I am getting sleepy. Uh, and, and thank you to everybody who showed up. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Really, really fun. Final Fantasy XIV is a lot of fun. I uh, I don't plan on having another game to stream next week beyond this, so we're just going to do Final Fantasy again. So we don't have to worry about, you know, <laughs> we don't have to worry about three streams in a week. But yeah, yeah, it'll be great. Yeah, it'll be great. Yeah. It's really cool to see. Look how smoothly some boss fights go down, down perfectly. Oh yeah, they're awesome. And I, and I really hope we get to play Sekiro this week. I'll all right, buy a physical copy if need be. So... But yeah, yeah. Thank you to everybody, and good night.